kwa namna hii Uamilele uamilele Mungu wa baraka ni Yesu One more time Uamilele uamilele Mungu wa baraka ni Yesu Come on the praise Uamilele uamilele Mungu wa baraka ni Yesu Uamilele uamilele Mungu wa
Haleluya. Tumefundishwa jana kuhusu utii. Uweze jua kwa kile ambacho unakifanya kwa wakati huu ndio mlango unaofunguka kwako. Kwa kile ambacho unakifanya wakati huu ndio destiny yako wako ndio anakukutafuta hivyo. Kwa kile ambacho unakifanya muda huu ndio baraka yako ile ya biashara inafunguka. Are you ready? Are you ready? Unaweza kaa katika mbata yako chuo namna hii.
Yes you. Uba tayari kucheza kweli? Oh yes. Ah! Watoto wa Yesu tunacheza? 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 Tunacheza.
uko nasikia foko ya mtu mmoja ambaye anajua kama sio kwa damu ya Yesu haleluya 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 praise god haleluya celebrate for jesus celebrate for jesus celebrate for jesus one more time Uko tayari kurua kama tai. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Baba ametufundisha kwamba ndege wengine wanakwenda kwa advantage ya upepo. Lakini tai yeye anakwenda kwa strength zake. Ana ufesi upepo. Haleluya. Ndege wengine wakiona upepo they are running. Lakini tai akiona upepo I am coming for you. Kama vile unavyoona magonjo unayambia I am coming for you. Kama vile unavyoona shida unasema i am coming for you i will never run away i am coming for you are you ready are you ready i am calling you for sas i want you to feel the music feel the music come on come on i want to feel the music come on come on yes. come on come on from strength to strength from dimension to dimension from glory to so kwana meni bariki na luka kama toi welele kwana kama toi kwana meni bariki na luka kama toi welele
sana ukasahau kwamba unatakuwa kujiungamanisha na mafuta na neema inayotoka kwa tai. Chukua mbegu yako kujiungamanisha kwa dakika moja. Quickly viewers all over the world. Our father is already here. I want you to get your seed of connection and as we are going to shout for Jesus for the last time, you are going to do your seed of connection. You can use money ground, you can use via uh the means that are provided below your screen and the Lord bless you as you do so. Na wewe ambaye uko hapa unaweza kuchukua mbegu yako ya kujiungamanisha tunavyokwenda kumshangilia Yesu kwa mara nyingine tena nenda palipo na chombo weka mbegu yako ya kujiungamanisha na Bwana akubariki unaweza kumpigia Bwana Yesu makofi mengi na shangwe nyingi unaweza kupiga makofi mengi na shangwe nyingi kwa jina la Bwana Yesu can you celebrate somebody unaweza kupiga kelele nyingi na shangwe nyingi kwa jina la Yesu Yatosha piga kelele nyingi na shangwe nyingi kwa jina Yesu. Shangwe shangwe shangwe. Unafanya shangwe. Unafanya before your father in heaven. Unafanya before your father in heaven. Shangwe shangwe shangwe. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Bwana ameni bariki naruka kama zwai Uwimbo kuna ambao watauelewa baada ya hii siku ya tatu kuisha Oh yes Ah you have got the revelation Yes yes watauelewa baada ya conference kuisha haleluya Bwana ameni bariki naruka kama zwai Come on. Wa 
Nina kushukuru kwa kunishindia. Nina kushukuru kwa kutenda. Nina kushukuru kwa kufanya. Asante kwa mwezi wa ushindi. Nilionekana ngumu maisha ni mwangu, lakini umenishindia. Haikuwa rahisi ni mkono wako. Haikuwa rahisi ni nguvu zako. Haikuwa rahisi umenizingira kwa ukuta wa moto. Umenizingira kwa ukuta wa moto. Umenizingira na malaika zako. Ni nani anganitoa kwenye lile shimo kama sio wewe? Mwambie Bwana asante. Mwambie Yesu asante. Rebele gada bagadele ba ya atala ba ya ade shata. Lebele konta la ba ya kataya. Mele kosha gadi na baraga da ba yate. Amesema ingia ni mambo ni pango kwa kushukuru. Anapendezwa na moyo wote wa nashukurani. Mwambie Baba asante. Azege lele baraga da na na ba shate. Mele kosha gada ba ya atala ba ya. Baba ni taku ni pani ni zaidi ya shukurani zangu. Nitakuwa nipanini zaidi ya shukurani zangu. Yale ulio yatenda hayawezi atalingana na thamani. Ah, kele bele gada ba ya gada ba ya te. Leko shata la maya. Hata nikisema ni tuwe dhabu. Dhabu na fenda ni mali yako. Ah, mimoyo wangu menye wana shukurani mbele zako. Wawa ni mama yangu. Aleko, maleko. Maraku mbrede dede marase bebe.
nitaenda kwa nani ni wewe peke yako nitakimbilia kwa nani ni wewe peke yako siwezi kukimbilia kwa mtu yoyote watu wote wamenikataa nimekuja kwako mwambie baba nimekuja kwako kuwa mwazi mbele zake kuwa mwazi unapoingia mbele zake
lift your hands before the Father, wherever you are. Come on, make up, please. Just for one minute. Koda kamoja jitaidi kusimama. If you are seated, koda kikamoja, try to stand. There is a strong unction tonight. Kuna nguvu nzito sana jiona leo. Iko nguvu in this place. There is power mahali hapa. Power that can melt diseases. Nguvu inaweza ikayeyusha magonjwa. Power that can destroy strongholds. Nguvu inaweza ikaribu ngome. Ila inahitaji sana wewe. But it needs you to be willing uwe na utayari for that power to administer to you. Ili hiyo nguvu iweze kukudumia wewe. Ili hiyo nguvu ikudumie unahitaji uiruhusu. For that power to administer to you you need to allow it. God will never force a person. Mungu aweze kumlazimisha mtu. Kwa dakika moja fungua moyo wako na kinywa chako ongea na Mungu wako. For one minute would you open up your mouth and speak to your heavenly Father? One minute of submitting your case before the Lord. Dakika moja ya kusalimisha kesi yako mbele za Bwana. Talk to Jesus. Ongea na Bwana Yesu. Viewers all over the world watazamaji ulimwenguni kote tunawakaribisha katika ibada ya Jumapili ya leo we welcome you to our sunday service today mungu abariki popote mnapotutazama may god bless you wherever you are watching us jioni ya leo mungu anataka afanye kitu tonight the lord wants to do something kwa ajili yako na familia yako for you and for your family ila inakupasa ufungue moyo wako mbele zake but it needs you to open up your heart before him mtu mmoja ongea na Mungu somebody would you speak to God sikio lake sio zito hata asisikie his ear is not heavy that he cannot hear macho yake sio mazito hata asione and his eyes are not heavy that they cannot see put faith in your prayers weka imani katika maombi yako and pray with your prophet tonight na uombe pamoja na nabii wako jana leo speak to Jesus be in the spirit ataka uwe rohoni usiku wa leo kwa nini uko hapa why are you here umekuja hapa ili Yesu akuhudumie you came here so that Jesus may administer to you basi mwambie akuhudumie then tell him to administer to you liba da bosheti Zahana basit kamili mbele zake prayer sikataba mikono ya mikono ya mikono ya na mbele zako mbele zako mbele zako na na sehele beso Jesus Jesus come on somebody pray Papa 
Spirit of Jesus, Saholoboshai, seven doors of blessings, Milango Saba Baraka, seven doors of blessings are opening for us tonight. In a Funguka Kwajilia to Jona Leo, seven doors of supernatural blessings, Milango Saba Yamuchiza. I wish I had seven people that believe what I'm saying. Seven supernatural doors are about to open for somebody tonight. Doors that will never be shut. Milango ambayo haitofungwa. Milango ambayo haitofungwa milele yote. The doors that will never be shut forever. Kile bwana anachokifungua ni nani anachoweza kukifunga? That which the Lord can open, who is that person that can close? Kile bwana anakifanya ni nani anachoweza kukipangua? That which the Lord has done, who can undone it? Maisha ya mtu mmoja anaenda kubadilika baada ya ibada ya leo. Somebody's life is gonna change after today's service. Haya sio maneno mazuri ya mchungaji. These are not sweet words from a pastor. But these are spiritual words. Lakini haya ni maneno ya roho. Ambazo nabii wa Bwana anamsikia Mungu akinena katika ulimwengu wa roho. That the, the prophet of the Lord is hearing God speaking in the realms of the spirit. Naitaji we rohoni sana usiku wa leo. I need you to be in the spirit tonight. Maisha yako yanatosheleza maombi yako usiku wa leo. Your life is enough for your prayers tonight. You don't even need to look at your neighbor. Focus with your life. Your life needs Jesus. Somebody please pray one minute. One minute of prayer. Pray my son, pray. Viewers all over the world, pray. What does the man you need to go to
When the Lord is moving tonight, may He not miss you. May He not miss you. May Jesus touch you. Let Jesus touch you. He knows you by your name. Anakujua kwa jina lako. Anakufaham kwa jina lako. He knows you by your name. Ni mungu anefu kufaham kwa jina lako. He is a God that knows you by your name. Anakufaham kwa jina lako. He knows you by your name. He knows every detail of your life. Anajua kila kitu juu ya maisha yako. Anafaham kila sehemu ya maisha yako. He knows every part of your life. Can you surrender to him one minute? Unaweza ukajisalimisha kwa kile dakika. Mwambie rehema zako zikawe juu yangu bwana. And tell him your mercies be upon me O God. Focus with me minister please. Your mercies be upon me Jesus. Rehema zako zikawe juu yako e Yesu. Rehema zako ziwe juu yangu e Bwana. Let your mercies be upon me. Somebody pray that prayer. Mtu mmoja omba ilo omba. Damu yako initakase e Bwana. Let your blood sanctify me O Bwana. Damu yako inisafishe e Bwana. Let your blood cleanse me O God. Church, let us pray that prayer. Kanisa hebu tuombe ilo omba. Sanctify me Lord. Nitakase e Bwana. Mawazo yangu hayajakupendeza wewe. My thoughts are not pleasant to you. Akili zangu zinaenenda kwa njia zisizofaa. My mind is moving in a way that is not proper before you. Ninaomba rehema usikwalewe Bwana. Father I ask of your mercies tonight. Unisame e Bwana. Forgive me O Lord. Unisafishe e Bwana. Cleanse me O Lord. Unioshe e Bwana. Cleanse me and wash me, O Lord. Unirehemwe, Bwana. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Nisame makosa yangu, Bwana. Forgive me all my sins, O God. Nisame dambi zangu, Bwana. Forgive me all my sins, O God. Somebody pray, please. Ebu mtu mmoja, O God. Matendo yangu hayaja kupendeza, O God. My deeds are not pleasant before you, O Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Nisame he, O God. Wash me, Jesus. Nisafisha, Yesu. Wash me, Jesus. Nisafisha, Bwana Yesu. One minute of prayer. Dakika moja, maombi. Only. be our last prayer tonight before we enter another session kabla hatujaingia kwenye kipindi kingine mwambie ni rehema tell him have mercy on me Jina langu likaandikwa kwenye kitabu cha uzima e Let my name be written in the book of life for Lord. Let my name be written in the book of life. Jina langu likaandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima. Somebody pray that prayer. Mtu mmoja omba ombi hili.
Jesus. Karika jina la Yesu. I want you to take a seat and God bless you. Nataka uchukue nafasi yako na Mungu akubariki. Be in the mood of prayer tonight. Kuwa katika hali ya maombi jioni leo. Be in the spirit of prayer tonight. Kuwa katika roho ya maombi jioni leo. Be in the mood of prayer. Kuwa katika hali ya maombi. Be in the atmosphere of prayer. Kuwa katika anga la maombi. Be in the mood of prayer. Kuwa katika hali ya maombi. Somebody for one minute. Mwambie Yesu usinipite usiku leo. Mtu mmoja kwa dakika moja would you tell Jesus do not pass me by tonight. As you begin to minister to us tonight. Unavyoanza kutudumia jioni leo. Minister unto my spirit Lord. Hudumia roho yangu e Bwana. Minister unto my life. Hudumia maisha yangu. Touch me tonight Jesus. Iguse jioni leo Yesu. Do something new for me tonight Lord. Fanya jambo jipya kwa ajili yangu jioni leo Bwana. Set me apart O God. Ukanitenge kwa ajili yako e Mungu. Let me be ready for you tonight. Niwe tayari kwa ajili yako jioni leo. Let me be ready for you Holy Spirit. Niwe tayari kwa ajili yako Roho Mtakatifu. Can somebody pray for themselves? Mtu mmoja unaweza kujiombea mwenyewe. Let me be ready for you tonight. Niwe tayari kwa ajili yako jioni leo.
the book of Isaiah 43 verse 19 somebody read for me please kitabu cha Isaya sura ya 43 mstari wa 19 Let's 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 get our bibles. Tuchukue biblia zetu kwa dakika moja. Tuchukue biblia zetu kwa dakika moja. Get your bible please. Chukua biblia yako. Let me give you the word of tonight. Ngoja nikupe neno kwa ajili ya jioni leo. Before the spirit begins to move. Kabla roho ajaanza kufanya vitu vingine. Before the spirit so begins to move. We may not forget this. Ili kusudi tusije tukasahau hili. Isaiah 43 verse 19. Isaiah sura 43 mstari wa 19. Read for me please. Tazama. Yes. Nitatenda neno jipya. Sasa nitachipuka. Je, hamtalijua sasa? Nitafanya njia hata jangwani na mito ya maji yekani. Behold, I will do a new thing. Tazama, nitatenda neno jipya. Piano please, just one minute. Give me a break. Behold, I will do a new thing. Tazama, nitafanya jambo jipya. Behold, I will do a new thing. Tazama, nitatenda neno jipya Now it shall spring forth Sasa litachipuka Shall you not know it Je hamtalijua sasa Read for me please kwa Kiingereza Isaiah chapter number 43 and verse number 19 Yes It says Behold I will do a new thing Now it shall spring forth Shall ye not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert Kwaswahili please Isaya sura 43 mstari wa 19 Yes Tazama nitatenda neno jipya I will do a new thing Sasa litachipuka He wants to do a new thing anataka is something new the word new simply means it has never been seen before neno jipya inamaanisha kwamba haijawahi kuonekana hapo kabla he wants to do something that no one has ever done for you anataka kufanya kitu ambacho hakuna ambaye ameshawahi kukufanyia as i was meditating on today's service nilipokuwa nitafakari juu ya ibada ya leo he said you don't need to talk a lot akasema uhitaji kuongea sana open isaiah 43:19 fungua isaiah 43:19 and he said read that scripture akasema soma ilo andiko behold i shall do a new thing tazama nitatenda jambo jipya a thing that nobody has ever done for you kitu ambacho hakuna yeyote ameshawahi kukufanyia a thing that you yourself you have never asked for kitu ambacho hata we mwenyewe haujawahi kukiona something that is beyond your understanding kitu ambacho ni zaidi ya ufahamu wako these are not my words i have seen maneno yangu these are the words of the living god haya ni maneno ya mungu he was telling somebody alikuwa anamwambia mtu and he's still telling somebody tonight na bado anamwambia mtu mmoja jiona leo that he is not yet done kwamba bado hajamalizana nao there is still a lot where he comes from bado kuna vingi kule alikotoka he says i will do a new thing in case you thought i am done with you laba pengine ulidhani kwamba nishamalizana na wewe i am just getting started with this thing ndio kwanza ninaanza na hiki tu a new season majira mapya that brings a new harvest ambayo analeta mavuno mapya something that you have never seen kitu ambacho haujawahi kukiona a new thing jambo jipya something that you have not even imagined jambo ambalo haujawahi hata kulifikiri you see when god is telling somebody i will do a new thing unaona mungu akiwa anamwambia mtu nitafanya jambo jipya he is going to do a thing that is on his level atafanya kitu ambacho kipo katika viwango vyake something that I, he, 
God cannot do what a man can do. Mungu hawezi kufanya kile mwanadamu anaweza fanya. He will do beyond what men can do. Anafanya zaidi ya vile wanadamu so wanaweza kufanya. So when he says I am about to do a new thing. Kwa akisema ninakwenda kufanya jambo jipya. Look around. Tazama. Look around you. Angalia And I tell you there is nothing compared to what he wants to do. Ninakwambia hakuna chochote linganisha na kile ambacho anataka kufanya. Vile vilivyo kuzingira maisha ni mwako wakati huu na kile ambacho anakisema hapo haviingiliani. He is about to do something that everybody will know it is the Lord that has blessed you. Anakwenda kufanya kitu ambacho kila mtu atajua kwamba ni Bwana aliyokubariki. There is a habit that God has. Kuna tabia ambayo Mungu anayo. When he wants to show off in your life he does not want it to be hidden. Akitaka kujionyesha maisha ni mwako hataki ijifiche. Uh, when God wants to do something Mungu akitaka kufanya kitu in your life maisha ni mwako He is not doing it to hide it hafanyi ili akifiche Ah uh ah -uh. he is not doing it so that they may not hear about it hafanyi sio ili kusudi wasisikie When God was dividing a whole ocean a sea Mungu alipokuwa anagawanya bahari nzima Even Pharaoh saw it hata Farao aliona And to be precise Pharaoh went, went, went on that same path. Na Farao alipita katika njia ile ile. Of the ocean. He did not go Yaba. around the ocean. He went through. Alipitia katika But he was swallowed because it was not his blessing. Lakini alimezwa kwa sababu haikuwa baraka yake. Anybody from tonight that will try to take what is yours. Yeyote tokea usiku wa leo atakayejaribu kuchukua kilicho chako. We are about to have a prophetic church now. Tunakaribia kuwa na kanisa la kina Bisa hii. Anybody yeyote anywhere popote if they were not with you kama hawakuwa na wewe in the days of trouble katika siku za tabu yako in your days of shame katika siku za aibu yako in your days of pain katika siku za maumivu they are not qualified to sit with you on the same table hawakidi vigezo kukaa na wewe katika meza moja it doesn't work like that haiendi hivyo look at your neighbor and say neighbor haiko hivyo It is, does not work like that. Maisha sio raisi hivyo. Life is not that easy. He is about to do a new thing. Anakwenda kufanya jambo jipya. Then he says, "Shall I not?" Hapo anasema, "Je, read for me please. Weka Biblia yako karibu." Tazama nitatenda neno jipya. Ndio. Sasa litachipuka. Litachipuka. Je, hamtalijua sasa? Won't you know? Hilo mm. neno zingatia sana. Shall you not know? Je, hamtalijua? Hamta, na nimeipenda Kiswahili nasema je, hamtalijua. Anafanya kitu kwa mtu mmoja lakini anauliza, hamtolifahamu? Mm. Do you understand that God is before he is doing he does it but kabla hajafanya? You know be, be, before God does it. He's already asking you. Do you think what I'm about to do you will not know about it? Alafu anakuuliza tayari kwamba unadhani ninachokwenda kufanya je hautokijua What it means is that what I'm about to do ninachokwenda kukifanya it is a must for you to know that it is not in your ability Ni lazima ujue kwamba haiko katika uwezo wako Yaani kwamba hii sio kwa sababu ya shule yangu That this is not because of my education Hii sio kwa sababu ya uchapakazi wangu This one is not because of my That is what it means Nicho anachomaanisha Haitokuwa kitu cha kujificha au cha kuhisi hisi na hisi labda ni kwa sababu no there is no utaangalia kwamba there is no way You look around na utaona hakuna namna nyingine There is no way Hakuna huyu mtu kwa namna ya kibinadamu in a normal human way angeweza kunitafuta mimi there is no way for me it can only be god he ni mungu tu i don't know kama i'm making sense there is no way hakuna namna that this person with the understanding of man kwa ufahamu na uelewa kibinadamu can have access to me anaweza akanipata unless the spirit of the lord has revealed to this person isipokuwa roho wa mungu amemfunulia mtu huyo when the holy spirit roho mtakatifu decides to lift a person akiamua kumuinua mtu he does not want anyone to take credit about it hataki yoyote ajichukulie sifa kuhusu hiyo not your pastor not your apostle not your, not your prophet Sio nobody wako. Sio yoyote. he wants the full glory Anataka to himself kamili kwake mwenyewe Are you hearing me? Yes sir. 
He wants the full glory. Anataka utukufu wote urudi kwako. Musa uh, Abraham said. Abraham alisema. A certain king wanted to bless Abraham. Mfalme fulani alitaka kumbariki Abraham. In your Bible in the book of Genesis. Kwenye kitabu cha Mwanzo. He said let me bless you Abraham. Akamwambia ngoja nikubariki Abraham. I have so many blessings. Let me share with you. Nina baraka nyingi. Ngoja nishare na wewe. And the spirit of the Lord spoke through Abraham. Na roho Mungu akazungumza kupitia Abraham. And said I am not going to take anything from you sir. Na akasema mzee sitachukua chochote kutoka kwako. When people are praying to God for a blessing. Watu wakiwa naomba kwa Mungu kwa ajili ya baraka. They are waiting for their destiny helpers to come. Wanasubiria wasaidizi wa hatma waje. Abraham destiny helpers are coming. Abraham wasaidizi wa hatma wanakuja. He is still rejecting destiny helpers. Yeye bado anawakataa wasaidizi wa hatma. Abraham, Abraham is visited by a king. Anatembelewa na mfalme. A king that has opened his heart to bless the man of God. Mfalme ambaye amefungua moyo wake kumbariki mtu wa Mungu. Mfalme ambaye amempenda Ibrahim, a king that has loved Abraham. Anamwamini Ibrahim kwamba anasimama kwa niaba ya Mungu and believes that Abraham stands on behalf of God. And the king said, "Let me bless you. Let me give you possession. Let me give you riches." Na mfalme akasema, "Ngoja nikupe miliki, nikupe utajiri." You cannot be my friend Abraham. Hawezi kuwa rafiki yangu Abraham. And you are still struggling like this. Na bado unahangaika namna hii. I can elevate your life tonight. Ninaweza nikainua maisha yako leo. All you need to say is Unachohitaji kusema. Yes. Useme ndio tu. That's it. Each of and I can order my servants to bring gold and silver, camel and many other things into your into your into your place na ninaweza nikamuru watumishi wangu walete dhahabu walete almasi na ngamia but li, listen to abraham lakini msikilize abraham when a man a king this is not a small boy a town boy huyu sio kijana wa no, this wabini. is a king that wants to bless a man huyu ni mfalme anayetaka kumbariki mtu a man that is in the wilderness mtu ambaye yupo katika jangwa a man that has no settlement mtu ambaye hana makazi abraham was still moving from one place to another abraham alikuwa anatembea kutoka sehemu moja kwenda nyingine and the king said let me bless you na mfalme akasema ngoja nikubariki how many people in this ministry can reject the blessing of the king of england right now ni watu wangapi katika hii huduma wanaweza kukataa baraka kutoka kwa mfalme wa Uingereza sasa hivi Because when you are talking about kings maybe you don't understand England is being ruled by a king right now Uingereza inatawaliwa na mfalme sasa hivi You know that right? Yes sir. Uingereza inatawaliwa na mfalme. Hmm. Mama yake amefariki hapa juzi si ndio? Mtoto ndo ametawala the prince has taken over now is the king Now imagine that guy locates you mtu yule anakutafuta and he says man of god woman of god na anasema mtu wa Mungu I have seen how you move nimeona unavyotembea I like what you are doing napenda unachokifanya allow me to honor you niruhusu allow me to be your friend ruhusu niwe rafiki yako allow me to do something niruhusu nifanye kitu that has never been done before ambacho hakijawahi kufanyika hapo kabla let me take change your life ngoja nibadilishe maisha yako and abraham na abraham out of the wisdom of god kutoka katika hekima ya knowing that this is too small the king's blessing and what god has promised me akiwa anajua kwamba hii ni ndogo baraka ya mfalme na kile mungu ameniahidi surely the king's blessing is heavy in the eyes of men and in the sight of men hakika baraka ya mfalme ni nzito katika macho ya wanadamu but abraham told the king lakini Abraham alimwambia mfalme I am not going to take anything from you sir. Sitachukua chochote kutoka kwako. Ili usije ukasema so that you may not say. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. So that you may not say. Ili usije ukasema that you blessed David Richard. Kwamba wewe ulimbariki David Richard. Those are those are dangerous statements. Hizo ni kauli za hatari. Before your destiny helpers. Kuzungumza mbele ya msaidizi wa hatima yako. When you You have met your destiny helpers you really need to be careful with your words. Ukikutana na wasaidizi wa hatima yako unahitaji kuwa makini sana na maneno yako. Because one word can change their hearts. Maana neno moja linaweza likabadilisha mioyo yao. A whole king mfalme mzima akarudi nyumbani na utajiri wake. A whole king went back home with his riches. I have come with riches from my nation Syria. Nimekuja na utajiri kutoka katika taifa langu. Tell the prophet Lashan. to come out and meet me. My name is Yeah. 
Ungapi umenielewa hadi ninapoelekea? My name is who? General Naman. Jina langu ni General Naman. My king wrote a letter to your king. Aliandika barua kwa mfalme wako so that your king may invite me to come and meet your man of God. Ili kusudi mfalme wako anialike nije kukutana na mtu wa Mungu. And the prophet of God na nabii wa Mungu say to the servant akamwambia watumishi wake Tell the great man Naaman mwambie yule mtu mkuu that I shall not come out to see him kwamba sitotoka kumuona and all the riches and the blessings the man carried horses and, and camels of blessings na utajiri wote na farasi na ngamia kwa ajili ya kumbariki mtu wa Mungu Tell Naaman mwambie Naaman that I don't need anything from him kwamba sitaji chochote kutoka kwake There is a river called Jordan by the way kuna mto unaitwa Yordan. Let him go and dip himself seven times. Aende akajizamishe mwenyewe mara saba. And he shall be healed of his leprosy. Naye atapona ukomo wake. Remember, uh, uh, Naaman did not say he's sick of leprosy or he's sick, but Elisha. Lakini Elisha told the servant to tell Naaman. Alimwambia mtumishi wake amwambie Naaman. Go and dip, he, before he explained his situation. Kabla hajaelezea hali yake. The man already gave him the solution yule mtu tayari ameshampa suluhisho before he said i am sick of leprosy before he Kabla said that hajasema hilo you see people that had leprosy watu walikuwa na ukoma they were not walking like you walikuwa hawatembei kama they cover themselves walikuwa wanajifunika and especially a great man cannot be seen with such a weakness zaidi sana mtu mkuu hawezi kuonekana na dhaifu aina hiyo naman's visit was a diplomatic visit Matembezi ya Naaman yalikuwa ni ya kidiplomasia. He came by the letter of the king of Israel. Alikuja kwa barua ya mfalme wa Israeli. He did not come like a sick man. Hakuja kama mtu wa He came like a general on a diplomatic mission. Alikuja kama jenerali kwa ajili ya kazi ya diplomasia. Akijifunika mwenyewe. No one saw the leprosy. Hakuna aliye na ukoma. But Elisha. Lakini Elisha is telling him I don't need anything from you. Anamwambia sitaji chochote kutoka kwako. was asking God. Nilikuwa namuuliza Mungu. What are you trying to say? Unajaribu kuongea nini? Yet these people are coming they are expecting some crazy blessings and you are telling me to tell them to reject blessings. Watu hao wanakuja wakiwa wanatarajia baraka za hatari alafu unaniambia wakatae baraka. And the spirit of the Lord said. Na roho Mungu akasema. No, no prophet. Hapana nabii. I'm not telling them to reject blessings. Siwambi si wakatae baraka. But I'm about to do a new thing. Lakini nakaribia kufanya kitu kipi. You see? Unaona? If somebody comes and gives you money, it is not a new thing. Mtu akija akakupa pesa sio kitu kipi. If somebody comes right now and gives you a job, it is not a new thing. Watu wengi sana wamepewa kazi kwa style yako hiyo. Mtu akija akakupa kazi sio kitu kipya. Many people have had a job in that manner. If somebody right now kama mtu sahi comes and says let me take you to my uncle he has a company he will help you. Akasema nikupeleke kwa mjomba wangu ana kampuni atakusaidia. It is not a new thing. Sio jambo jipya. The thing that God is talking about Mungu kitu anakiongelea hapa. It is a thing of you rejecting a king. Ni kitu cha wewe kumkataa mfalme. What manner of a blessing ni aina gani hii ya baraka makes a man reject a king inamfanya mtu amkatae What kind mfani. of words can God promise me to reject a whole king Mungu anaweza kuniahidi kwa maneno gani ni mkatae mfalme wote What kind of assurance ni uhakika gani ni, na, ni, ni aina ya maneno gani ambayo Mungu anatakiwa kuniambia ambayo naweza nikaamini kwamba mfalme huyu aliyokuja he has come to distract me a king mfalme. is a distraction anakuwa distraction to Abraham kwa Abraham what kind ni aina gani of a blessing ya baraka are we talking about that makes a person ambayo inamfanya mtu not to take anything from Naaman asichukue chochote kutoka kwa Naaman What was with these guys? Nini ilikuwa na watu? That made these guys iliwafanya hawa watu. Look stand before great men yet in my generation we are we are quoting the scripture that our talents will make us sit among kings. Na bado katika kizazi chetu tunanukuu maandiko ambayo yanasema 
karama yetu itatufanya tukae katika tawafalme watu wenye karama waliwakata wali wafalme people with gifts denied king daniel daniel stands before the king anasimama mbele za mfalme with a few of his guys na ndugu zake wachache and the king tells his palace boys na mfalme anawaambia watu wake make sure these guys eat well hakikisha watu hao wanakula vyema walale pazuri they have to sleep in a good wale place. vizuri they have to eat well wapewe posho kila siku ya maisha yao and they should be given pocket money every for day the of the next night. one year kwa mwaka mzima let them be prepared to stand before the king waandaliwe kusimama mbele za mfalme Daniel and other guys from the Hebrew guys from Israel. Danieli na vijana wengine wa Kiebrania kutoka Israel. Slaves. Watumwa. Watumwa. Slaves. These are slaves. Hawa ni watumwa. They stood before a great king of a nation. Walisimama mbele ya mfalme mkuu wa taifa. And the taifa. king said I like these guys. Asema naopenda hao. They are supposed to be my protocol and my bodyguards. Wanatakiwa kuwa protocol wangu na bodyguards. My wise men. Watu wangu men that kini. stand around the king. Watu ambao wanamzunguka mfalme. But Lakini. let them be taken care of watunzwe give them houses wapeni nyumba give them food give Wapu them chakula. everything wape kila kitu and do you know what daniel and his friends said unajua daniel na wenzake walisema we shall not eat of the king's food hatutakula chakula cha mfalme give us water tupeni maji and some seeds na mtama tupe maji na mtama hmm. ah if it were you kama ingelikuwa ni wewe. You say these are the seven doors of blessings. <laughs> They have already begun to open. Eh? Huh? For sure. Eh? Uh, uh? For sure. This is what the prophet was talking about. Hiki ndicho nabii alikuwa anakiongelea. And they began to eat seeds and water. Kula mtama na maji and when the time came to stand before the king mudo lilipofika kusimama mbele za mfalme biblia inasema daniel and his guys danieli na watu wake they were looking better than the people that were eating the pork wali of the king vizuri kuliko wale walikuwa nakula kitimote ya mfalme they were looking better walikuwa wanaonekana vizuri the bible says their faces were glowing sura zao zilikuwa zinawaka ni kama watu ambao wamekula na kushiba muda mrefu they are good they were looking ila kumbe wame, wanakula nini mtama na maji na maji Abraham Abraham by history kwa historia became one of the richest men in the world to mmoja. ever exist ya yeah, alikuwa tajiri ambaye alishai kuwapo hapo kabla But at one point lakini wakati fulani he rejected another man's hand alikataa mkono wa mtu mwingine so that the glory ili utukufu may go back to the man or the person that said I shall do a new thing urudi kwa yule mtu aliyesema nitafanya jambo jipya This is a difficult gospel gospel I'm preaching tonight Ni injili ngumu na ubiri jioni leo But it's a gospel lakini ni injili that is to remind you amoni ya kukumbusha wewe that whatsoever men promise you kosa kwamba chochote watu walikuahidi it's not greater than what god can do to you sio kikubwa kuliko kile mungu anacheza kufanya kwako some of you badienu you have become worshipers of people mmekuwa watu wanaoabudu watu wengine just because they are paying your rent kwa sababu wanalipa tu kodi zenu that is a destruction hiyo ni destruction that day you stand up and say even if you don't do it siku ambapo utakaposimama na kusema hata kama utofanya there is Uh, there is a scripture in the book of Isaiah 43 verse number 19 Kuna andiko katika kitabu cha Isaya sura 43 I will make a river in the wilderness Nami nitafanya mito katika jangwa eh? yes. I will make a river in the wilderness Now when God wants to make a river in the wilderness Mungu. he finds you in the king's palace Mungu akitaka kutengeneza mito katika jangwa anakukuta upo kwenye jumba la mfalme Uh, somebody is beginning to capture my revelation. Nikoko, I'm here. When God Mungu wants to bless you, anasema, you see it. sometimes wakati mwingine That's why I'm saying these are distractions. Ndio anasema hizi ni distractions. These are things that are going to distract you. Hivi ni vitu ambavyo vinakwenda kukudistract from what jamsa. really God wants. God wa- he wants to find you in the wilderness. Mungu anataka kukute so jangwani. So that he may make a river. Ili kusudi afanye mto. 
But now he finds you flourishing in the palace of Nebuchadnezzar. Lakini anakukuta unastawi katika jumba la Nebuchadnezzar. Joseph Yusuf, for me to elevate you. Ili mimi ni kuinue. You need to come out of Potiphar's house. Inabidi utoke kwenye nyumba ya Potiphar. How will they give me glory? Watanipaje utukufu? Because if you are elevated from Potiphar's house, they will say Potiphar connected you to Pharaoh. Kwa sababu ukinuliwa kutoka katika nyumba ya Potiphar watasema alikuunganisha na Pharaoh. Uh, who is capturing what I'm saying? Uh, look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. It is about to get extreme now. So now we we want you to stand before Pharaoh. Kwa tunataka usimame mbele za Pharaoh. Heaven wants you to stand before Pharaoh. Mungu inataka usimame mbele za Pharaoh. But how come? Lakini inawezekana You are not in the wilderness. Haupo jangwani. You are not in prison. Haupo gerezani. Haupo wapi? Gerezani. You are already eating and drinking and enjoying Potiphar's wife. Tayari unakula na kunywa na kumfurahia mke wa Potiphar. So tomorrow when God is blessing you, kwa kesho Mungu akiwa anakubariki, hautojua tofauti ya baraka yake na nguvu zako. You will not know the difference between his blessings and So what God is going to do? Kwa Mungu atakachokifanya. He's going to take you into the prisons. Atakupeleka katika gereza. You are going to You are going to get into a season of pain. A season of rejection. You are going to drop in life. Uh, your season that you have been going through for this last year. Majira ambayo umekuwa ukipitia huu mwaka uliopita. Some of you said when I came to Prophet David Richard things dropped of course. Kuna watu walisema Because the elevation of God needs a platform called the wilderness. Kwa sababu kuinuliwa na Mungu kunahitaji platform inaitwa jangwa. That's why before Jesus was to be known all over the world. He was taken first to the wilderness. You have been living in your father and your mother's house for 30 years. Umeishi katika nyumba ya mamako na babako kwa miaka mingi. You have never fasted Jesus. You have never been through pain. You have never been broken. To a point where you call unto the name of the Lord. Mpaka wakati unalitia jina la Bwana. So before we elevate you, kwa kabla tuja kuinua, we are going to take you in 40 days of pain. Tutakupeleka katika nights of fastings. Go in the desert. Nenda katika nyika. The only thing you are going to be seeing is stones. Kitu pekee utakachoona ni mawe. The whole day the sun is going to be on top of you. Siku nzima jua litakuwa juu yako. The storm shall come on you. Upepo utakuja juu yako. Fumbi, you will not take a bath. Hautoga. For 40 days. Kwa siku 40. You're not hearing me. You will not sleep on a bed for 40 days. Hautolala kitandani kwa siku. Behold, I'm about to do a new a thing. thing. I want to make a river. Nataka nifanye mto. In the desert in the wilderness you, i cannot find you in joseph's house you will not understand the difference between my blessing and your father's house hautoelewa kati ya baraka yangu na nyumba ya babako we are about to get somewhere tunakaribia kufika mahali so we are going to take you where to the desert kwa tutakupeleka jangwani na uta hautokula na kunywa hautokula kwa siku ngapi You will not eat. kwenye kitana. You have been relaxed. We want to break you. We want to make you skinny. Tunataka kufanye uwe mwembamba. So that when I I start making you sit in, in, in these big men's houses like Nicodemus and you're having dinner with Nicodemus, you will he, he will see a difference. Mm. At a few, I Bamba. looked at your Instagram a few a few Two years ago you were very black and skinny what happened Nimeangalia Instagram yako miaka miwili iliyopita ulikuwa mweusi na umekonda sana nini kimetokea Tell them Esther so many uh, Somebody is capturing something in the atmosphere Huh For you to be the wife of the of the king Esther Ili wewe uwe mke wa mfalme Esther You need to be first a slave girl unahitaji kuwa kwanza binti mtumwa your parents are going to die wazazi wako watakufa and your uncle ne ma, uh, uh, modekai is going to take you in as an orphan girl mjomba wako modekai atakuchukua kama mtoto yatima so you are going to be an orphan 
the sacrifice of your greatness is your parents lives for this miracle to be written in the bible and be understood by generations Ili your humu. parents have to die you have to be a, an orphan in a nobody tima, si somebody that was in chains and dragged from israel to a foreign land Na. walking on foot months akaburuzwa kutoka israeli kuja nchi ya ugeni kwa miezi when you are complaining in that journey ukiwa nalalamika kwenye safari esther i wish you had a prophet to tell you where you are going esther natamani ungekuwa na nabii wa kukuambia unakoenda so if you phone esther kwa kama ungemkuta esther in that journey wakati amechukuliwa kuwa nani mtumwa walikuwa watumwa you know that right yes, they were ch- in chains walikuwa wamefungwa minyororo amefungwa ungemkuta in the wilderness at that moment if you found her in the wilderness kwa wakati huo esther was complaining esther alikuwa analamika esther was in tears esther alikuwa analia machozi esther machaz. did not see the future esther hakuona maisha ya esther kemele. was thinking that now i am officially a slave alikuwa anawaza kwamba sasa nimekuwa rasmi where we are going I'm going to be somebody's donkey. Nitakuwa punda wa mtu fulani. I'm going to work like a slave. Nitafanya kazi kama mtu. I will not have my freedom anymore. Sitakuwa na uhuru wangu tena. But Esther did not know. Lakini Esther hakujua. That God will make a river. Kwa Mungu atatengeneza mto. Out of her tears. Kutoka kwenye machozi yake. He's going to use those tears. Atatumia hayo machozi. To make a river. Kutengeneza mto out of the will out of a nobody kutoka mtu ambaye si chochote the most rejected son of 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 of, of Jesse mtoto aliyekataliwa kuliko wote wa Yesu the one that is forgotten the most ambaye amesauliwa kabisa they call they called him a bastard child wale muita mtoto wa nje mtoto ambao alipatikana kwa ndoa ya nje ya kwa, kwa, kwa mke wa nje ya ndoa a bastard child That boy that when when the prophet came in the house of Jesse yule kijana ambaye nabii alipokuja akamwambia niandalie watoto wako he called all the all the seven sons aliwaita watoto wake saba wote but he forgot the other one akamsahau mwingine why he was in the wilderness alikuwa when nika. these ones were in their father's house wakati hao wako katika nyumba ya baba yao telling their fathers i want to marry and their father was sponsoring their their weddings wakimwambia baba yao tunataka kuoa na baba alikuwa ana sponsor when they wanted to go to the gym walipotaka kwenda gym the father was paying the whole year for them to gym baba alikuwa analipa mwaka mzima ili wao waende gym when the prophet comes wakiwa nadhani kwa manabii ya the prophet will look at the outside structure nabii ataangalia muonekano god is after men and women that have been in the wilderness mungu anatafuta wanawake na wanaume ambao wamekuwa katika nyumba behold i am about to do a new 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 tazama ninakwenda kufanya jambo jipya jipya ah look at your neighbor say neighbor 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 something new jambo jipya you have never ever thought about ambalo haujawahi kufikiria it is happening tonight inatokea usiku wa leo god may god bless the boss that chased you out of work mungu ambariki bosi aliyokufukuza kazi i used to have bosses that were not paying me nilikuwa na mabosi ambao walikuwa hawanilipi right now when they see or hear about david richard sahi wakisikia kuhusu david richard they are asking for my phone number wanatafuta namba yangu ya simu ah i you are not hearing what i'm hearing <laughs> for you to focus ili focus for you to focus on your business that is about to make you a multi millionaire woman ili focus kwenye biashara yako ambayo itakufanya uwe mwanamke milionea sana sometimes god has to separate you from your family wakati mwingine mungu inabidi akutenge na familia yako reject you inabidi akukatae that man has to divorce you wewe mwanaume inabidi akuache is being a destruction anakuwa destruction hey You're not hearing me. Bring it on, daddy. My daughter, you will not be the first person that has gone through a divorce. Binti yangu utakuwa wa kwanza ambaye amepitia divorce. Sometimes that is the price for greatness. Wakati mwingine hiyo ndio gharama ya ukuu. Somebody has to be left behind. Kuna mtu lazima aache nyuma. Hey, you are not hearing me. It does not come in a comfortable season. 
haiji katika majira ya no, does not come when everything is is glorious haiji kila kitu kikiwa cha wilderness it is a disturbed place ni mahali ambapo panosumbua it is a place ambapo mnapelekana mahakamani kusumbuana but out of that lakini kutokana na hilo god is about to honor your name mungu anakwenda kuheshimisha jina lako out of that kutokana na hilo you see in the bible katika biblia one that is important is the prodigal son not the son that remained with his father mm ambaye ni wa muhimu ni yule mwana mpotevu sio yule aliyebaki na babake uh, Lucas chapter 7 neighbor katika Ma- Biblia in the Bible mwana mpotevu ndo ana nguvu na maana kwenye historia ya Biblia kuliko yule mwana aliyobaki nyumbani kwa baba yule hatu atufundishi chochote yule that one does not we are, mm, it's the prodigal son ni mwana mpotevu yule ambaye ali at one point he that ambaye wakati fulani alimwacha aliasi out of that we are learning na hiyo tunajifunza this boy has to go through a, a color a color a color na ngurue mm, he ate with the pigs so now i know Kone chakula cha ngurue hakimui mwanadamu because of him now you're not hearing me you're not hearing me i professor unatabiri my daughter you did not make a wrong mistake binti yangu akufanya kosa to walk out of that church that ministry kutoka kwenye ukumu kwenye kanisa na ukaja hapo you did not make a wrong mistake akufanya kosa i declare and i decree i receive it in the mighty name of the lord jesus katika jina la yesu kristo you are season majira yako of elevation ya kuinuliwa the lord has seen your tears bwana ameona machozi yako he has heard your cry from the heavens amesikia kilio chako kutoka mbinguni amekisikia kilio chako kutoka mbinguni he has heard your cry from heaven ameona mateso yako he has seen your torment ameona aibu yako he has seen your shame na amenipa andiko moja jioni ya leo and he has given me one scripture tonight isaya 43 mstari wa 19 Isaiah chapter number 43 and verse number 9 Tasama si ninaenda kufanya jambo jipya I am going to do a new thing He is not yet done Hajamalizana bado na When people were were talking all things about you they thought they were finishing you Wakati watu walikuwa naongea kila kitu kuhusu wewe walidhani na kukupata God was using them lakini Mungu alikuwa anawatumia Satan mm. anadhani anaku mm. He does not know ndo anakuimarisha in the Lord. Hajui kwamba his the more he's attacking you the more you love Jesus. Wanapokushambulia ndio ambapo unampenda zaidi. Aya. Aya aya aya. The more they are attacking you. Wanapokushambulia. The more people are attacking you. Vile watu wanakushambulia. The more you are distancing yourself from people. Ndivyo unajua kwamba unaamka you are realizing that I cannot trust people. Unagundua kwamba naweza nikamini watu. I can only trust on Jesus. Ila naweza nikamtumainia Yesu. When they think they are breaking you. Wanapodhani wanakuvunja. They are actually making you. Kimsingi wanakutengeneza. When gold is being beaten wakati dhahabu inapigwa and put in the fire gold is complaining gold inalalamika when gold is being taken from the ground wakati dhahabu inachukuliwa ardhini and it is being put in the fires na inawekwa katika moto so that we can get that pure yellow gold ili tupate ile dhahabu ya manjano at that point gold is complaining you have taken me away from my house wakati ule dhahabu inalalamika umenitoa katika nyumba yangu and you have brought me here to burn me with fire na umenileta kuniunguza kwa moto when you are beating the gold to make the bar ukiwa unaipiga ile dhahabu ili kutengeneza gold is saying now you have done you are done burning me you are beating me gold inasema umemaliza kunichoma sasa hivi nani when that gold lakini hiyo dhahabu when you make a golden watch out of it ukitengeneza saa ya dhahabu kutoka nyota from different nations are coming to look at that gold na watu kutoka mataifa tofauti wanakuja kuangalia gold is saying you have made me an important thing aya kaba dosha i receive it i receive it God is no longer complaining. Dhahabu ilalamiki. God has already forgotten about the beating and the fire. Dhahabu imeshasahau kuhusu kupigwa na moto. But God is saying you have made me sit among millionaires. Lakini dhahabu inasema umenifanya nikaga. Millionaires are looking at me and they are admiring me. Na millionaire wananitazama na. I receive it. Ay ay ay. 
you are the gold that God was looking for wewe ndio ile dhahabu ambayo Bwana amekuwa akiandaa miaka mingi you are the gold that God has been looking for Tanzania is about to start beating on you <laughs> Watu watasema na mimi hapa mimi nina shingiri mimi na 2020 mimi na milioni 2 mimi na milioni 3 you are starting to become important i receive it people will come with different price tags i receive it just to sit down kukatu and hear your wisdom na kusikia hekima yako say sir how much can i pay you you come to my ministry na kusema mzee ninakulipa begi anaambia nakuja katika mbona i need to aye kataba doska bala kadila bara When you are in the mud ukiwa katika tope it feels comfortable inaonekana kama namna fulani is not a place for you lakini sio mali pako sit down when gold is a rolex dhahabu ikiwa rolex i'm telling you it does not complain niamini mimi hailalamiki it says ah master you have made me a fine thing bwana wangu umenifanya kwa kitu kizuri I thought you hated me Nilitani unanichukia I thought you forgot about me Nilitani umenisahau When you are beating me God has been just preparing you Ulivyokuwa unanipiga Mungu amekuwa tu akikuandaa Ili uwe dhahabu safi lazima akupitishe kwenye vitu fulani hmm. Biblia inasema chuma unoa chuma I is making a fine sword. Akiwa anatengeneza upanga mkali. A sword that will slay a thousand men. Upanga utakao kata vichwa vya watu. That sword process is different from a sword that will slay a 50 men. Mchakato wa huo upanga ni tofauti na upanga utakao kata watu 50. Mchakato wa upanga ambao unaenda kuua watu maelfu ya watu sio mchakato sawa na upanga ambao unaenda kuua watu 50. When God has designed you for nations. Mungu akiwa amekutengeneza kwa ajili ya mataifa. Look at Moses. Mtazame Musa. 40 years. Miaka 40. In Pharaoh's house, 40 years in Jethro's house. Kwenye nyumba ya Farao miaka 40 kwenye years. 80. Miaka 80 ya kuandaliwa kuongoza watu miaka 40. To lead people for 40 years. Jesus is being prepared for 30, 30 years. Yes, to stand for 3 years. Asimame kwa miaka mitatu. But when you stand History will be written in your name. I receive it. Somebody is saying I am about to become 40. Praise God. Kuna mtu anasema nakaribia kufika miaka 40. Because when you are 40 that is when you are your feet mm-hmm. you are ready. Your master looks at you and he says I have made a fine sword. Nimetengeneza upanga mzuri. Nimetengeneza upanga ambao utaacha historia chini ya jua. I have made a sword that will leave history under the sun. Ah! Look at your neighbor say neighbor. Mangale jirani yako mwambie jirani. Are you with us tonight? Uko na sisi jioni leo. There is a strong unction of the prophetic tonight. Kuna nguvu ya kinabii nzito sana jioni leo. Mm. Turn to your neighbor. Yoke jirani yako. And say neighbor. Mwambie jirani. You want greatness. Unataka ukuu. But you are not ready to pay the price. Lakini uko tayari kulipa gharama. You want greatness. Unataka ukuu. But you don't want to pay the price. Lakini hutaki kulipa gharama. Even a farm kabla ile siku ya harusi watu mara nyingi wanakuwa wamenuniana. Do you know before that day of wedding many people are frowning at each other? Do you know that? Unajua hilo? Just so that why watu washereke it's glorious makamera na mataya na waka juzi watu wamenuniana watu wametaka kushikana mashati mwenye kitu wa kamati na bwana harusi hawaelewani a season of the wilderness majira ya kuanyikana kuna mtu ameenda kujinyenyekeza mahali kuomba mkopo ili harusi ifanyike he has gone through a suffering so that you may see the glory ili uone utukufu there is no good thing without pain hakuna kitu kizuri bila maumivu anything chochote remember these words that is cheap kumbuka maneno haya chochote ambacho ni cha Rahisi. It is not good for you. Sio kizuri kwa ajili yako. Anything that comes easily. Chochote kinachokuja kwa uraisi. It will run away quickly. Kitakukimbia kwa haraka. Strong foundations. 
misingi imara a built in perseverance inajengwa katika uvumilivu endurance patience discipline nidhamu continuous prayers maombi ya muendelezo trusting in the lord kumwamini bwana not giving up sio kukata tamaa on the lord kwa bwana even now he is still ebenezer hata sasa yeye ni ebenezer as long as you are alive vile tu ambavyo uko hai there is still a purpose bado liko kusudi there is still a purpose bado liko kusudi you could be dead with all these demons around you na haya mapepo yote yale kuzunguka you could be dead but as people are falling and dying around you lakini vile watu wanavyoanguka na kufa wale kuzunguka everyone is wondering how come this one is not dying kila mtu anashangaa inakuwa vipi huyu afi because god is not yet done with you kwa sababu mungu hajamalizana na wewe seven doors milango saba seven doors milango saba multiple doors are about to open milango mingi inakwenda kufunguka streams mifereji mingi streams mifereji streams mifereji all coming towards your direction yote ikiwa inakuja kuelekea uelekeo wako opportunities fursa opportunities fursa phone call after phone call sim baada ya sim a lineup of people that want to encounter you mstari wa watu ambao wanataka kukutana na wewe you have no option but to believe it because it's for you hauna namna ila kuamini kwa sababu ni kwa ajili yako if it's not for your neighbor it is for you sio kwa ajili ya jirani yako kwa ajili yako believe it for you amini kwa ajili yako A time is coming. Muda unakuja. We shall look at this place. Tutaangalia mahali hapa. And we shall we shall miss these things. Tutamisi hivi vitu. A time is coming and I tell you this I have, I have experienced this. Nimepitia hili binafsi. You miss to have a normal car so that you may not get noticed on the road utamisi kuwa na gari la kawaida ili kusudi usi, watu wasikujue barabara you're not getting it you're not capturing you're not, you're not getting it awelewe you're not getting it you're not getting it i wish you were getting it natamani ungekona eneo a time is coming muda unakuja when you 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 are you are trying to hide unajaribu kujificha that you are blessed kwa mbarikiwa right now you are trying to show people you are blessed yet you have no blessing sasa hivi unajaribu kuonyesha watu mbarikiwa na bado una baraka yote true people that have it watu waliona they are hiding it wanaficha they don't want unnecessary attacks hawataki mashambulizi asio lazima they don't want unnecessary attention hawataki attention zisizo za lazima a time is coming muda unakuja you will be hiding your watch utakuwa unaficha saa yako because the moment they realize it's a rolex they will ask for money you don't you you're tired of people disturbing you muda wakigundua ni rolex wataanza kuomba hela umechoka tu kusumbua i declare ina tamka spirit of god roho wa mungu imagine even god on his throne he's surrounded by the seven spirits hata Mungu katika kiti chake cha enzi amezungukwa na roho saba. Multiple spirits are around him. Roho nyingi zimemzunguka. To serve him. Kumtumikia. What what do you want master? Do you want wisdom? I am here. Unataka hekima? Niko hapa. You want knowledge? I am here to serve you. Niko hapa kutumikia. He is surrounded by, by seven spirits that feed him. Amezungukwa na roho saba. That make him who he is. Nguzo ambazo zinamfanya awe hivyo alivyo. La scripture. Andiko la mwisho. Proverbs 24 16 
Mithali 24 sura 16 mstari wa 16 Mzuri kusete tonight I'll be anointing everyone Usiku wa leo nitamtia mafuta kila mtu The anointing of wealth pako wa kupokelewa na kubaliwa According to your destiny sawa sawa na hatima yako The oil will make you mafuta yatakufanya uwe mafuta yataku if the oil says you need healing it will heal you kama mafuta inasema unahitaji uponyaji itakuponya the oil will search and scan you mafuta yatatafuta and na find seven things it can do for you na kupata vitu saba yanaweza kufanya god is marking you for greatness tonight mungu anakutia alama kwa ajili ya ukuu usiku make sure you write this down on your notebook that on this day on the 7th of april 2024 he marked me for greatness I, I will not never die poor. Sitokufa maskini. I will never die a Sito nobody. Kufa nikiwa si chochote. I will never die. You better write it down. Ni bora uandike. I will never die. Sitokufa a failure. Nikiwa mtu aliyefail. On the 7th it was a Sunday, a Sunday on the 7th of April. Ilikuwa tarehe 7 mwezi wa 4 I was marked iliwekwa alama for greatness kwa ajili yako anointed to be Ili king pako mafuta kwa mfalme anointed to lead pako mafuta kuongoza leadership is coming to you tonight uongozi unakuja juu yako siku leo influence is coming on you tonight ushawishi unakuja juu yako jiona leo i'm telling you you are about that your history is about to change historia yako inakwenda kubadilika you have just been in the wilderness ulikuwa tu katika nyika Yangwani. But remember every season has an end. Lakini kumbuka kila majira yana mwisho. And the season of drought is coming to an end. Na majira ya ukame yanafika mwisho usiku leo. You utashangaa tu na unaongezwa mshahara mara tatu. Mm. Don't 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 usishtuke. Us yani don't act kama uelewi kinachoendelea. Yani kwanza chukulia kawaida sana. Take it normal. You, because that is what is about to happen to you. Maana hicho ndicho kinachokwenda kutokea kwako. Kwa. God is about to surprise us seven times. Mungu anakwenda kutushangaza mara saba. If you if you open my heart you will see how much I believe what I'm saying. Ukifungua moyo wangu utaona ninachoamini kiasi gani naamini ninachosema. Yaani ungefungua moyo wangu sasa hivi ungeona 100 point 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 the way I believe because even me it is my word. Atamini neno langu. And it's not for you alone it's for me also. Ni kwa ajili yangu pia. I want to be blessed seven times more than now. Nataka nibarikiwe mara saba zaidi kuliko sasa. It's not only for you, I also take it. Sio kwa ajili yako tu, na mimi naichukua. As the seven angels will be moving tonight, I take it. Vile malaika saba watakao natembea usiku wa leo, na mimi naichukua. Oil will be moving upon your life tonight, I take it. Mafuta yatapokuwa natembea juu ya maisha yako jiona leo, na mimi ninachukua. Read for me please. Proverbs 24:16 Mithali sura 24 mstari wa 16 For a righteous man Kwa maana mwenye haki huanguka mara saba akaondoka tena For a righteous man Kwa maana mwenye haki fall seven times and he will rise again Aha uh-huh. Kwa maana mwenye haki huanguka mara saba akainuka tena bali wasio haki hukwazwa na mabaya but the wicked shall fall by calamity for a righteous man will fall seven times mwenye haki ataanguka mara saba wenge hapa mpo sasa hivi mara yenu ya saba men of you here you are in your seventh time umefungua biashara zimefeli mara saba a business failed for seven times mahusiano mara mahusiano saba yalifika kwenye kwenye uchumba ya kafe seven relationship go to courtship and failed mara saba umeenda kuomba visa kwenda marekani seven times you have gone to ask for visa to go to america but the bible says this time around when you rise up lakini biblia inasema wakati huu ukinuka you see the the, the a champion Unaona yule uh, champion. A champion is a person ni that mtu ambaye has been beaten before. Amepigwa kabla. You know that right? Unajua yes. Has been beaten before. Amepigwa kabla. 
and then out of his beating akutoka kwenye kupigwa kwake he went back and watched the video akarudi akaitazama ile video to observe how he felt na kuchunguza alivyoshindwa observing akiwa where he went wrong what is his, his weakness udhaifu wake ni nini so now he has added knowledge ameongeza maarifa sasa so now as he's going back kwa anavorudi training akiwa na training he's no longer training on the same thing hajifunzi kwenye kitu kile kile putting focus on his weaknesses anaweka umakini kwenye udhaifu wake but if the guy that beat him lakini kama yule jamaa aliyempiga comes back this time and thinks akirudi na akiwa na waza kwamba huyu jamaa bado yuko kama jana that this guy is the same he's as yesterday about to be surprised anakaribia kushangaza satan Shetana. has been punching you amekuwa akikupiga pulling you down anakuvuta chini but now what what can the devil do that is new lakini shetani atafanya nini ambalo ni jipi you are not hearing me yani nini ambacho anaweza akafanya sasa hivi ambacho wewe hujakiona What is new that the, the devil can do that you have not so seen? So you come to realize your enemies were meshiwa. Utakuja kugundua adui zako hapo. And then there is a God that is saying now I'm about to do a new thing. Alafu kuna Mungu ambaye anasema nakwenda kufanya jambo jipi. When my enemies have no new tricks. Adui zangu wakiwa hawana mbinu mpya. They have no new plans. Hawana mipango mipya. That is when my God. Hapo ndipo Mungu wangu. Now I'm about to bless you. Anasema nakwenda kubariki. Now I'm about to lift you. Nakwenda kuinua. Because misiba haikusumbui tena. Because funerals don't disturb you anymore. <laughs> A righteous man will fall seven times and he will rise again. Mwenye haki huanguka mara saba na kuinuka tena. I pray. Ninaomba. You are not a failure. Wewe si mtu aliyeshindwa because you fell down. Kwa sababu umeanguka. You are a failure because you fell to stand up. Wewe ni mtu aliyeshindwa kwa sababu umeshindwa kuinuka. Namba ni idea tena. You are not a failure. Wewe si mtu aliyeshindwa because you fell down my son. Kwa sababu umeanguka mtoto wangu. But you stand down. Lakini kubaki hapo chini. You have failed me. Tayari umenifelisha. Umefelisha. You have felt the system of God. Umefelisha. My daughter, you are f- falling. Unaanguka. Is allowed. Kuanguka kwako kunaruhusiwa. Pain down. Kukaa hapo chini. In this ministry. Kwenye hii huduma. Is not allowed. Hairuhusiwi. Kujikwa. It's fine. It's But not staying there. Lakini sio kukaa hapo. Rise up. Dust yourself. and walk again na utembee tena when the devil hits you shetani akikupiga then you 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 fall ukaanguka he starts laughing and says i'm anaza finished kushika, this one. Anaza anaza then he starts walking away anaza kuondoka then he's hearing you ah. he turns again to say ah. anageuka anasema what is happening here nini kinatokea i thought i gave you the my best com- combo <laughs> i keo He, he did his best of the best. Alifanya cha kwake kilichobora. Then hearing you saying thank you Jesus. Anasikia unasema asante Yesu. Thank you. Yule mchawi unamfurahisha ambavyo ufungui tena hiyo biashara. Ameshinda. Kwa sababu alitaka biashara ife na wakati tamaa. And you did not go back and open it. Nenda kaifungue tena. This time around. Wakati huu. When you are entering that place. Ukiwa naingia pale. Hold hold the door. Shika mlango. And say father. Na useme baba. You will make a way in the wilderness. Utafanya njia katika jangwa. Spirit of God lead me tonight. Roho Mungu niongoze jioni leo. Zoro bosete. Everybody pray. Kila mtu omba. Chunguza. Mungu chunguza. If you have understood the word of God begin to pray.
Bwana ni majira yangu. Tell him Lord it's my season. Begin to pray one minute. Anza kuomba kwa dakika moja. Mbona unaomba kama huamini? Why are you praying as if you don't believe? Unatakiwa ufanikiwe. That you are supposed to prosper. Pray like a man that has faith. Omba kama mtu ambaye anayo imani. Pray like a woman that believes. Omba kama mwanamke anayeamini. That Jesus can elevate you. Kwamba Yesu anaweza akakuinua. cannot be ignored ambazo haziwezi zikapuzwa supernatural doors milango ya kiungu doors that only god can open milango ambayo ni mungu tu anaweza kufungua there is what man can open and only what god can do kuna kile ambacho mwanadamu anaweza akafungua na kile ambacho mungu anaweza fanya anointing session but naomba niongee nawe kwa dakika moja let me speak to you for one minute bwana sasa god bless you how are you i'm fine sir have you been to uh, have you been to nigeria before not yet umeshe kwa nigeria kabla have you been to west africa before not africa yet. magharibi then why is your battles coming from there kwa nini vita zako zinatoka huko i just don't know you don't understand awelewe So let's investigate. Hemgoja tuchunguze. Inoa mikono yako juu. In the realms of the spirit. Katika ulimwengu wa roho. I saw a strong attack on you. Nimeona shambulizi zito juu yako. And uh, mm. Have you been to a church or where there is a, a, a man of God from Nigeria? Umeshekwa kwenye kanisa ambapo kuna mtu ambaye kutoka Nigeria. A certain man of God from Nigeria came to minister to our church. In your church? Yes. Kwenye kanisa lako. There is a man of God. Kuna The man of God is Tanzanian. No, he just came to minister. Alikuja kudu. It's your church. It's our church. You are a woman of God. Yes sir. 
and you're serving God. Yes. And there is a man of God from Nigeria who came to our church. You invited yes, to sir. come and preach in your church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am seeing in honor altars Madabam. that have been provoked because I am seeing a man hmm? yes, I did not understand in the beginning but si now it makes mazo. a lot of sense yes, somebody Una came mtu. to your church yes, to yes, preach yes, and now the altars that are from that are from that land they recognized your union your friendship your thing and i'm seeing those altars are fighting you now yes, are you hearing me I'm hearing. and i'm seeing if you are not careful you see when you invite people you what? should also understand how deep their battles are Ukialika watu lazima uelewe vita zao zilivyokina yes, kesi gani. So now your ministry is under attack only because you associated yourself with a man that is also under attack. I'm seeing altars from Nigeria. Inaona madhabahu kutoka Nigeria. And I am seeing financially you are under attack. Na ninaona kiuchumi uko chini ya ushambulizi. And the devil is laughing because he knows that there is no way you can come out of this situation unless a stronger anointing breaks the yoke. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because in the realms of the spirit, I am seeing everything that you are trying to do is to push the ministry, the work of God. Yes, sir. That's but you are stuck. Very much. And I'm seeing everybody around you, they are starting to doubt. Are you capturing what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody is starting to doubt. And I'm seeing people that even were supposed to be pillars and partners and friends and people to support you, they are now walking out because your attacks are so many and now it is affecting the entire church. So much. And I'm seeing you are losing members. So much. And the enemy is laughing because he knows it is because when you were inviting the person, the devil used that person as a portal to come and destroy your ministry. And I'm seeing people walking away. But you're a woman of God. Thank you. You Jesus. carry the anointing of God. Thank you, Jesus. There is the apostolic on you. Thank you. And sir. there is the prophetic on you. Thank you, sir. But there is a problem. Yes. As I am dealing with the altar Yakule, I need to deal with other altars. Yes, I moved with the angel of the Lord and I'm seeing an altar of that is fighting you. And this altar, it is also blocking everything, especially your marriage or the issue of marriage. The devil has destroyed that area. He has fought that area. He does not want you to see peace. No way. And the devil is saying, unless because if he lets you to become who you are yes, sir. you are going to disturb him he's afraid of you thank you and you are, you are marked since you are a young girl you are marked by god and he, the devil also marked you so that you may never ever fulfill your call but you're a woman of god don't doubt it thank you're you, called by god thank even you, you coming tonight it is by grace even you being here tonight you have taken a risk because you know the prophet will somehow locate me i will be on tv but what can i do i need my deliverance you are talking the truth. that's very really true man of god that's very really true but hear me the lord says thank you he is about to do a new thing i receive it sir. i receive it i receive it Zakadele he is about to do a new thing he is about to do a new thing. Thank you, man of God. He is about to do a new thing. Thank I don't know you. how or why, but there is also something that God is putting in my heart that I need to let you know. I, I don't know how, but you are supposed to have a, a school or something. A school. Something to do with a school. Do you understand? That's my dream of many years. I want to open a school. Like you want to open a school? Because I work on the college and I wish I could. You work in a college? Yes, sir. I'm seeing yes, you. Yes, mm. I'm here now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I am seeing you, you in an environment where there are students, people are, 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 are learning. Yes, sir. Yes, and the Lord is also saying that this is also her dream. 
So yes, I visited you at your workplace. Thank you, Jesus. It's a school area. People yes, are learning. It's a college. Sir. It's a college. Yes, sir. And that is what you want. Yes, you want sir. to have a school one day. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you God. that Thank as you, I lay my hands on you tonight. Thank you. from this place yes, that you sir. Put on a on a speak to me sir the lord says yes sir currencies foreign currencies oh my god are about to locate you Woo! thank you i had a dream of so many dollars is about to it's open united states for you because i see a connection i don't know who but i'm seeing a connection in the united states we have some few people there but uh we're not so much connected because we're just praying on the phone and that there day. is a lady <coughs> that is going to invite you thank you jesus there is a lady that is thank you. after my thank, prayer thank you sir after my prayer thank you man of god there is a lady that is going to god is going to put you. you're gonna go to the u.s thank and you, there jesus. you're going to have a, a fellowship you will start a ministry there my god my god my but you're going to be a great woman thank this you, college jesus. thing this school thing school that is your business that is where money is about to come out oh Father, I declare. Baba nina tamka. Yosha mkono, let's pray for this woman. Would you stretch your hands to Mombeu? We mama. break altars from Nigeria. Tunavunja madabao toka Nigeria. Familiar altars. Madabao za familia. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Woman from tonight. Mwanamke, tokeo siku leo. Begin anointing her tonight. Give me oil, please. Zolo bosate. Rabale katosha telebae. You will prosper. That says the Spirit of God. As I anointed you, I flew to Kimara. And I saw a, a battle from Kimara. But the Lord says, from today, it, it, is, it shall be no more. Thank you, Jesus. You are anointed. Thank you. Go, that dream of the college, the school thing, go and do it. From now, you will see grace in your life. Oh you are you. blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Let me speak to you, Mama, please. Ah, my friend. Is it the old time or something? Are you the one? Yes. Every time, Unaona didn't see that the prophet gets attracted to, to your. There is something beautiful in you. Okay. Father, do it for her. Generational curses break. Lana za vizazi na vizazi zinavunjika. From tonight. Tokeo siku. The Lord says. Bwana anasema. As you are going to be anointed. Vile ambavyo utapaa kwa mafuta. A new thing. Jambo jipya. A new thing. Jambo jipya. A new thing. Lift up your hands everybody. Ina mikono yako juu kila mtu. Sema bwana Yesu. Say Lord Jesus. Remember me tonight. Nikumbuke usiku wa leo. 1 minute of prayer. Daika moja maombi. 1 minute of prayer. Daika moja maombi. 1 minute of prayer. Daika moja maombi. 1 minute. Few are all over the world as we are praying in this place wherever you are connecting from. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Kapadele bosata. Open up your mouth and begin to pray. Wherever you are begin to pray. Let me pray for that brother Kule. He's wearing a greenish khakish. Stand up, please. Can I talk to you? Please join me, please. Mama, Mama, you're blessed. Mama, Minister, please. Tell Mama she's blessed. Mama, when I anoint you tonight, the Lord says a new thing. Please help her. It is the anointing upon her. Nikama vazi ameliva. It's like a garment. Lift up your hands and one minute and say, Lord, touch me, speak to me. 
aombe bwana nikuse do me good tonight nifanyie vyema bwana nifanyie vyema bwana nifanyie vyema kule nyuma let us pray at the back would you pray you are praying for you unajiombea mwenyewe karibu sote zoto robo sote karibu shi Is it your first time here? Uh, no, ni kama mara ya tatu lakini ushakuja kwa mwaka huu. Have you been here? Ah, you have been here before. Ushakuja kabla? Ndio. Ila kwa mwaka huu ni mara ya kwanza. But this year is the first time. Na ni ruhusu niongee nawe kwa dakika mbili tu. Allow me to speak to you in Tamil. The Lord wants to. The Lord loves you. Bwana anakupenda. He sees your heart. Anauona moyo wako. You are a man of God. Wewe ni mtoto. Do you know? Yes. I see you serving God. I am seeing a calling of God. But you are you are hungry. Lakini unanja. You want grace. Unataka neema. I am hearing you praying before the Lord. Ninakusikia ukionaomba mbele za Bwana. And you are asking God to elevate you spiritually. Unamwambia Mungu akuinue. When I look at you I am seeing an apostle. Nikikuangalia ninaona mtume. A man that is moving in the apostolic grace. Yes. Mtu anetembea katika neema ya kitume. But you are desiring the prophetic grace. Yes. Lakini unatamani neema kabisa. Because I am seeing you associating yourself with prophets. Ninakuona ukiwa na jisha na manabii. There is a prophet I'm seeing next to you. Kuna nabii namuona pembeni yako. I'm seeing a prophet. Namuona nabii. And the Lord is telling me. Na Bwana ananiambia. That what you have been looking for and desiring. Ulichokuwa unatafuta na kukitamani. And what you have been asking God to give you. Na ambacho umekuwa ukimwambia Mungu akupe. It is possible but there is a problem. Kinawezekana lakini kuna shida. When I look at you I don't see submission nikikuangalia sioni submission i don't see you submitting uko chini ya mtu uko chini ya mtu you are on your own uko peke yako but you love god lakini unampenda mungu and you i saw at one point ukaona kama nijiendee mimi mimi tu and at one point ulitaka uende alone alone but the lord says lakini bwana anasema it's going to be difficult for you itakuwa ngumu kwa ajili yako kwa namna hiyo na vile anavyotaka kutumie in that manner and the way that he want to serve you so the spirit of the lord is encouraging you tonight koroa mungu anakutia moyo usiku that you look for a father utafute baba look for somebody that will mentor you lead you utafute mtu atakaye kufundisha atakaye You are one of the people that will bring a revival to this nation. Wewe ni mmoja watu atakaoleta uamsho kwenye taifa. You are one of the people that God will use. Wewe ni mmoja ya watu ambao Mungu atawatumia. Ila inabidi ujinyenyekeze. But you have to humble yourself. Allow yourself to be a son to somebody. Jiruhusu kuwa mtoto wa kiroho kwa mtu. So that tomorrow you might be a father to somebody else. Ili kesho uwe baba kwa mtu mwingine. Are you hearing me? Yes. But you are a man of God. Yes. Yes. There is when I look at you, even in your hands I don't know how old I hata mikononi mwako siji kwa nini when i looked at your star nilipoangalia nyota yako i saw gemstones nimeona madini i'm seeing madini are you hearing me yes. and the lord says na bwana anasema i am seeing gemstones inaona madini sawa ninaona wizara ya madini are you hearing me yes sir I'm seeing a connection coming. Ninaona connection inakuja. And I saw Dubai opening for you. Na nikaona Dubai inafunguka kwa ajili yako. I saw you doing Nalipakuona. bringing investors. Ukileta wakezaji. Kwenye area ya mining. In the area ya uchimbaji madini. And the Lord said. Na Bwana akasema. As he will be elevating you in these things. Vile atakavyokuinua kwenye hivi vitu. He needs you to remember your calling. Anahitaji ukumbuke wito wako. Don't run and walk away from your calling. Usikimbie na kuacha wito wako. Because you are an apostle of God. Maana wewe ni mtume wa Mungu. Father I pray in the name of Jesus. Baba ninaomba katika jina la Yesu. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. May the calling of this man. Wito wa mtu huyu. Be remembered tonight. Ukumbuke usiku leo. Father, Baba, use him. Mtumie. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. One more minute of prayer. Dakika moja nyingine ya maombi. One more minute. Dakika moja nyingine ya maombi. One more minute. Dakika moja nyingine ya maombi. Sakate. Ikle pale. Stand up please. Stand up please. Oh 
Ghost, ya no Pentecost. Dada, una vita paka na ogopa. Dada, you have battles Holy Ghost. that shocks me. Una vita paka na ogopa. Sawa. Una vita paka na ogopa. Kwanza, vita yako ya kwanza iko inatokea mbea. Your first battle is from Bear. Huh? Tuna kunaishi Bear. Huh? Tunaishi Bear pamoja na wazazi. I'm hearing kikuyu kikuyu. Tukuyu nimesoma. Ha, vita ya pili hiyo. That the second battle. Nipo kwenye mbuyu. As I stand there I see your grandmother. Nina mwana bibi yako. This one is too slow for me this one. Ninataka niende mbea lakini ngoya ni mwache kwanza. Let me look for somebody that is with me tonight. That is with me tonight. Zele gado shani dadadari. Sida dadadari. Father I declare. Sif. Ah. Okay. And as I stand before this tree, na vile nilivyosimama mbele ya huu mti, I saw a grandmother. Nimemwona bibi. And I asked the angel of the Lord. Na nikamuuliza malaika wa Bwana. What does this have to do with this lady? Hii inahusiana vipi na huyu binti? And the angel of the Lord said, Na malaika wa Bwana akasema, She was attacked at school. Alishambuliwa akiwa shuleni. And I asked the angel, how was she attacked at school? Nikamuuliza malaika alishambuliwa vipi akiwa shuleni? I saw a spirit. Nikaona roho. Girls attracted to you. Mabinti wakiwa wanavutwa kwako. Wasichana wanahusisha mnahusiana kwenye how do we put this thing girls attracted to pendwa sana na wasichana mpaka wanagumbana lakini sijai kuhusiana kwa mapenzi na wasichana and i saw girls na nikaona mabinti attracted to you wakiwa wanavutwa na wewe and i asked the angel of the lord how is it possible nikamuuliza malaika bwana the angel of the lord says malaika bwana akasema this is an initiation kwamba hii ni kitu ambacho wali hii ni tambiko it's an it's a ritual that was done Capture her star. Because in the realms of the spirit, when I enter your dreams, I see them sleeping with you. I see a man sleeping. I see a man changing to a woman, and I'm asking the Lord. And they said they are stealing your star. Why? Because there is a calling of God on you. No, no, we're not. No, no, we're not. No, no, we're not. Nilikuwa napata attack nikiwa shuleni kila kifika karibu ya mitiani mimi narudishwa nyumbani Don't worry naona uimbaji mimi am sing singing And the Lord says you need to be serving him Na Bwana anasema unataka kumtumikia kwa uimbaji Because you are asking God mimi ni nani umenita kufanya nini Unamuuliza Mungu who am I what did you call me to do But the Lord said Lakini Bwana amesema Kuna wito wa uimbaji ndani yako There is a calling of singing inside But a grandmother has to be dealt with Lakini kuna bibi inabidi ashughulikiwe ili wewe uweze kufika kwenye hatima yako So that you may get to your destiny Because I see that naona, spirit haijakuacha Hiyo roho has not left It is still following you Bado inakufuata Hata katika ukubwa wako like this Even as you are grown up like this And blessings from you Na inaiba baraka kutoka kwako Mbea Mbea Nimeondolewa na wazazi mbea kwa sababu ya ataki. Nikiwa mbea napata sana ataki prophet. I know. Najua. Because you are a great woman. Kwa sababu wewe ni mtu mkuu. And there is a spirit that does not even want you to be in a marriage, does not want you to be happy. Na kuna roho blocking. Haitaki wewe na furaha, haitaki blocking. It is blocking, it is blocking. It is blocking. It is blocking. Because I'm seeing a, a, a pastor. Maana namuona mchungaji. You're supposed to be married by to a pastor. 
unatakiwa uelewe na mtu wa Mungu but the devil has been fighting you lakini shetani fight anazuia but as i pray for you lakini ninavyokuombea altars za mbea na kikuyu huko they are breaking tonight prophet the lord says victory ushindi bwana anasema ushindi finances uchungu are going to open utafunguliwa mungu anaenda kubari God is going to open doors for you. Mungu atafungua milango kwa ajili yako. It's tough. It is difficult. Ni ngumu. Ni ngumu sana. You see when you are under bondage. Ukiwa chini ya kifungo. Nothing moves. Hakuna kinachosonga mbele. Nothing moves. Hakuna kinachosonga mbele. Remember the word nothing. Kumbuka hakuna. You feel lost. Unaona umepotea. You feel rejected. Unaona umekataliwa. But the spirit of the Lord says. Lakini roho wa Mungu anasema. He is about to open your life. Anakwenda kuyafungua maisha yako. Seven blessings. Baraka saba. Malango saba ya baraka yanakuja juu yako siku ya leo. Seven doors of blessings are coming upon you tonight. And you shall know. Nawe utajua. That the Lord is your God. Kwamba Bwana ni Mungu wako. Nyosha mkono Father we pray. Baba tunaomba. In the name of Jesus. Come on. bibi unamwachia huyu mwanamke. You spirit of a grandmother you are living this woman. Spiritual husband. Pepo mahaba. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Achilia nyota yake. Live hasta. Mwanamke wa kipepo. You demonic woman. Uliova. She is not your queen. I see a crown on her head. Huyu sio malkia wako. Naona taji kwa hiyo. I remove that crown. Inaondoa taji hilo. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Katika jina la Bwana Yesu. Nizimu yote tunaikamata. Ancestors. We are Father, let Baba. her star shine again. Nyota yake kanaye. Let it shine again. Ikanae tena hata. Are you tired? Tumalizie mtu mmoja. Naomba uombe dakika moja viewers all over the world. Watazamaji ulimwengu kote. The more you pray the more I see. Unavyoomba ndivyo naona zaidi. One minute of prayer please. Dakika moja ya maombi tafadhali. Angels of God pray with your prophet one minute. Angels of God omba na nabii wako kwa dakika moja. Angels of God begin to pray with your prophet begin to pray now. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Father, you reign forevermore. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody pray. Unajombea wewe. Even of her. Your star is in Zanzibar. Nyota yako iko Zanzibar. You don't know. Hapa nisijui. Afam. I see a girl. Namona binti. Okay? Sawa. A Zanzibarian girl. Namona binti wa Zanzibar. Okay? Sawa. Walking with your star. Akiwa anatembea na nyota yako. Help me papa. I'm about to. 
And I asked the angel of the Lord, how is this possible? Nikamuliza malaika wa Bwana inawezekana vipi hii? Your case is connected to a shop. Kesi yako iko connected na duka. Yes, yes, I, I used to have a furniture shop uh, around two years back. I was selling furniture and I went to Zanzibar. You went I, to Zanzibar? Yes, I went to Zanzibar to this woman. She ordered some furniture. So okay. we come, went there come, to come, 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 come. Hallelujah. Ah, I see the ocean. Inaona bahari. I asked the angel, where are we? Namuliza malaika tuko wapi? Angel says we are in Zanzibar. Malaika anasema tuko Zanzibar. And I asked the angel, how are we in Zanzibar? How is it connected to his life? Namuliza malaika, hii iko connected vipi na maisha yake? A lady is using your star to Namu... shine. She's doing business. Anafanya biashara. And I asked the angel, so oh, how is who is this woman? And Namuliza... he says this has to do with a, a shop business. He used to have a shop. Alikuwa na duka la or something like that Ama and that's how they met kwenye mazingira ya duka yes, kama papa. ulimpelekea vitu or something yes papa i was selling furniture my furniture company was called crown furnitures yes so she ordered furnitures and then i delivered them to her place in zanzibar in it zanzibar was, it was my first time going to zanzibar it was your first time yes, in zanzibar but it did it end well we quarreled we, like you had an argument yes we did, we did not end in good terms now when you had an argument mlivongia kwenye mabisha she took your stuff alichukua nyota you just argued she went to a place help me and she said if this boy continues with this business akasema kama huyu kijana kiendelea na hii biashara i am not zanzibarian mimi sio mzanzibari i did it papa the business died it died ilikufa and it died because you had a quarrel with a woman from zanzibar ilikufa kwa sababu ya concerning business juu ya biashara yes 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 it was business papa i pray i receive it Who knows here that you took things to Zanzibar? Nani anajua hapa? Ambao mmepiga nice story. No one, no one, no one. You you are, I delivered your brother star the other day. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I saw the deliverers. I connected. The Lord now is delivering you. Thank, Thank you, Papa. Papa. Deliver me, Papa. So, kwa hiyo, for the past so called two years as you said. Kwa yes. miaka miwili you don't have a star, son. Somebody is becoming a millionaire in Zanzibar. Somebody is ele- elevated. Kuna mtu anainuliwa. In Zanzibar. You are Zanzibar. struggling, you are moving from one place to another another looking for this and that, but you you left your star in Zanzibar. Lakini uliacha nyota yako Zanzibar. May she die papa, deliver me papa. I am tired papa, I am tired, I am tired. May the Holy Spirit use you to judgment on oh, her life papa. god is going to do that tonight zanzibar zanzibar be careful with who you do business with kwa makini na yule mtu unafanya naye biashara he, he saw your star when you went there aliona nyota yako when you, he, she, she measured you she say this boy can make me rich alikupima kaona huyu atanifanya tajiri she went to a place akaenda mahali mm a witch doctor called then she pulled your star so now anakumiliki she literally owns you but the lord says amen. that yoke is breaking to amen. You. Amen. 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 amen father baba church please let's pray kanisa mtuombe in the mighty name one minute of prime minister of god please come run quickly let's pray lay hands on the chest father in the name of jesus you can do better church Somebody's destiny is about to be revived. Hatima ya mtu inakwenda kuishwa. I declare in the name of the Lord. Ninatamka katika jina la Bwana. I break that connection. Ninavunja huo muungano. I speak restoration. Natamka urejesho. Lamuel angel of the Lord. Malaika wa Bwana Lamuel. Arrest that woman. Kamata huyo mwanamke. That witch doctor. Huyo mganga. In the mighty name of Jesus. Na jina la Yesu. Was you, where was your shop? Uh, mabibo uh, kuna chuo kipo mabibo hapa mabibo yes 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 mm, give me oil please he deserves the oil of god Spe- can you put the oil on up i just want to be dipping like this yes. father 
baba as the brother was delivered vile kakake alivyokombolewa the brother be delivered kaka huyu naye akombolewa the might in name of jesus kwa jina la yesu your star has come back to you go and shine go and shine go and shine and if you still want this thing to come back this na kama unataka kitu furniture thing yes but then go to sinza Okay, the Lord says you shall prosper there. Okay, if you Papa. want it. Thank you, Papa. I have given it to you. Thank you, Thank you Papa. Papa. Thank you Papa. I prophesy. Victory. 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 In the name of Jesus. You cannot hawezi fail. Ukashindwa. My daughter my son you are not allowed. Binti yangu kijana wangu hauruhusiwi. Kwa dakika moja. In one minute. Sema kama nipo chini ya mafuta haya. If I am under this anointing. Siwezi kufeli. I cannot fail. Begin to pray one minute. Anza kuomba dakika moja. If you are all over the world. Watazamaji ulimwenguni kote. If you are under such an anointing. Kama uko chini ya upako upako huu. If you are all over the world begin to pray this prayer. If I am under this anointing. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. I am forbidden to fail. I am forbidden to fail by this I will never fail. I will never fail in my marriage. I will never fail in my relationship. I will never fail in my career, my business. I will not fail in my education. I will not fail in my ministry. Somebody who is prophetic begin to prophesy. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. By the action of the prophetic. As I am under the same anointing. The pioneer anointing. Seven doors of blessings. Seven doors of blessings. Milango saba baraka. Seven doors of blessings. Milango saba baraka. I cannot fail. Siwezi nikafeli. He is making a river in the wilderness. Anafanya mito katika jangwa. Just for me. Kwa ajili yangu tu. Just for me. Kwa ajili yangu. Jesus is making rivers in the wilderness. Yesu anafanya mito katika jangwa. Just for me. Kwa ajili yangu tu. He is doing it for me. Anafanya kwa ajili yangu. The devil cannot stop me. Shetani hawezi kunizuia. Satan you cannot stop me. The devil hawezi kunizuia. Sakatele badosh kabahade. Somebody pray one minute. chini ya mafuta kama haya isiwezi kufeli isiwezi kufeli i cannot fail nimeona wengi wakikombolewa i saw many delivered nimeona wengi wakiwekwa huru i seen many be set free macho yangu yameona nyota zikirejea my eyes have seen stars being restored siwezi kufeli i cannot fail ngangania mafuta ngangania mafuta hold on to that anointing la hold on to the matele bahadeli my ministry cannot fail ndio my yangu haiwezi kufeli Elevation, elevation, elevation. Kuinuliwa, kuinuliwa, kuinuliwa. Victory, victory. Ushindi, ushindi. If you can pray in tongues, pray in tongues. Beliko pranga masela sotele barakaya. Shante le kura di Italy gapara. Kama unaweza kanena kwa lugha neno kwa lugha. Mushka pala. Leida prada kuze tele katele baratele barako bomo shata la bayada. Liko prada manosha. Make sure you pray, make sure you pray, make sure you pray. Shaliko prada ba suveria kata. Prada prada na na ba shuto bobo. Zika prada na ba shuto bala. Leko prada ba prada nos kapa di agrave. Shaliko prada ba suveria kata. Belus prada di na ikale hedi a para nosa. Zaida prada ha suveria tala mande. E prando shapila agrave. Shalino o prada mas no prada hida. Rakosh kapala agadia ata. Zoko deke dia ta. Zone shalida agere debe. Kamo na e pradiga agado. Rakakaba kabe. Belekanto. Zante pradiga agado. Belekina agadia. Zuzi aparado. Shalasa te kapa. Rakosh kapila ata. Ina kuze belekana. Zuzi aparado. 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 Zuzi apar
You saw angels of God ministries wapi? Where did you saw angels of God? Um, actually on Instagram lakini dadangu Rachel pamoja na Prince. Ah. Wale niandika. Okay. That is why. So yes, this sir. is why I'm seeing you as a woman of God. Ndio maana kuona kama mtu wa Mungu. And I'm seeing you. Do you know you're a woman of God? Unajua ni mtu wa Mungu. Oh you feel like I feel like you feel like Okay, let me talk to you. Ngoja niongee naye. Do you know Sylvia? Unamjua Sylvia? Sylvia. Do you know Sylvia? No. You don't know Sylvia. Abuje yes. Sylvia. In the realms of the spirit. Katika ule mwangu wa roho. The spirit of the Lord said. Roho Mungu anasema. I deliver you. Nikukomboe. Because Sylvia. Kwa sababu Sylvia is a demon. Ni pepo. Do you know Amanda? Unamjua Amanda? No. Ah, Amanda is another demon. Amanda ni pepo lingine. You are possessed by two spirits. Umevaliwa na roho mbili. One is called Sylvia. Moja inaitwa Sylvia. Another one is called Amanda. Nyingine inaitwa Amanda. These are the spirits is in of, of 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 fortune. Ambazo hapa sasa. They want to use you. Wanataka kutumia. They want to use you. Wanataka kutumia. Okay? Sawa. Yes. They want to use you. Wanataka kutumia. Okay? Sawa. As a portal, as a vessel. Kama mlango, kama chuo. Okay bring to 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 capture men kukamata wanaume are you getting what i'm saying unaelewa yes, unachosema and especially zaidi sana men that are anointed watu ambao wana upako there is a spirit kuna roho there are two spirits kuna two roho sisters aina mbili silvia na manda silvia na manda i am seeing them like yesterday ninawaona kama jana and right now they are afraid because i'm speaking of them na sasa hii wanaogopa kwa sababu But why are they doing this? This lakini kwa nini wanafanya hivyo? You are called by God. Kwa sababu umeitwa na Mungu. You are called by God. Umeitwa na Mungu. You are called by God. Umeitwa na Mungu. You are called by God. Umeitwa na Mungu. You are a woman of God. Wewe ni mtu wa Mungu. You are a woman of God. But I saw I saw Victoria. Victoria, Lake Victoria. Nimeona ziwa Victoria. Lake Victoria. Ziwa Victoria. And I saw your star. Na nikaona nyota yako ikichukua ule wa Lake Victoria in that side of Lake Victoria sijui kivipi ama kwa nini lakini nimeona you start going down the lake nyota yako ikitumbukia chini they, use, they want to use you na wanataka kutumia an agent kama wakala unless i deliver you isipokuwa nimekukomboa number one, number one. you will never be married hautaolewa and settle in a marriage na kutulia kwenye ndoa number two, number mbili you will never sing and preach for jesus hautoimba na kumhubiria yesu and number three, You will end up as a prostitute but the devil says what he says and God says what he says. Shetani anasema anachosema na Mungu anasema anachosema. Wewe roho una majibu. Deliverance. Ukombozi. Set her free Lord. Mweke huru e Bwana. Because in the realms of the spirit. Kwa sababu katika ule mwangu wa roho. I'm seeing your eyes. You know, a prophetic woman of God. Wewe ni mwanamke wa kinabii. Naona macho yako. She's capturing it now. 
But Sylvia and Akinishi. Amanda have visited you in their goddesses of fortune. Hii ni miungu. They are walking out. Wanaondoka. They always give you these tears. Wanakupa ya machozi wakati wote. That's how they manifest. They are coming out. Wanatoka. They are two sisters. Ni dada wawili. I am arresting two goddesses. Ni akamata miungu miwili ya kike. Angel of the Lord. Malaika wa Bwana. I need her to be delivered tonight. Ninamhitaji huyu akombolewe usiku. I need her star restored tonight. Nahitaji nyota yake iko. Let these two sisters. Dada hao wawili. Be captured and arrested. Wakamatwe. And every other demonic spirit na kila aina nyingine ya roho my daughter I move to Arusha nimetembea mpaka Arusha Hmm pale kozi yake live Ondoka. now now sahi now sahi now sahi now sahi walk out ondoka restoration urejesho father baba she will not be used by the underworld hatotumiwa na kuzimu she is not gonna be a queen hatakuwa malkia she is a woman of god we ni mtu wa mungu prophetess of god mtu wa mungu nabii prophetess of god why am i seeing arusha have you been to arusha before yes or no yes Yes. When I was little. Yes. Do you know you they want you know somebody wanted to abuse you? Unajua mtu ambaye alitaka Give me a hanky please. Kuna mtu alitaka kukubaka. Do you know that one you are? Somebody very close, a lady. Mtu wa karibu. Binti. Ni ni mwanamke au msichana. I don't know if it's a house girl or somebody. Somebody wanted to take advantage. Yes, a house girl. A house girl. Yes, when I was little. When you were little. Do you know that's when Sylvia and Amanda entered you? Hapo ndio Sylvia na Amanda walipoingia. But now. Lakini sasa hii. Take this. Chukua hii. You are anointed to be a prophetess. Umepakwa mafuta kuwa nabii mpya. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Oh, yes. You can do better somebody. Oh, yes. Look at Jesus. Come on somebody pray. Mtu mmoja anza kuomba pale ulipo. Say Lord set me free from any demon. Mwambie Bwana niweke huru mbali na pepo la aina yoyote. Whatsoever was done against me when I was young. Chochote ambacho kilifanyika nikiwa mtoto. was all over the world make sure praying father deliver me today whatsoever was done in my life when i was young that did deliver me tonight make sure you're praying for one minute funja chochote ambacho adui alikitumia kuingia maisha ni mwako break anything that the devil used to enter ulikuwa mtoto mdogo when you were a young boy prayer. last prayer before we do We do our anointing session. Ombi la mwisho kabla tujaingia kwenye session yes. ya anointing. In the atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere of Jesus. There is an atmosphere. But nothing is impossible. No disease is curable. Are you breaking it somebody? Anything that ever happened. Whatever thing that the devil used to enter my life. Let it be broken. Let it be broken every covenant. Let it be broken by the blood of Jesus. Every means that the devil used be was all over the world. Begin to pray wherever you are. Anza kuomba pale ulipo. Begin to pray whatever you are. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. You are breaking tonight. Unavunjika usiku wa leo. You are breaking tonight. Unavunjika usiku wa leo. You are breaking tonight. Unavunjika usiku wa leo. There is an atmosphere in the atmosphere of Jesus. Atmosphere. 
of Jesus. The atmosphere of Jesus. There is the name of Him. Baroska Palagatilia Ba One, two, three. Black, stand up. One, two, three. Black, stand up. Eh. Eh. Ah. Ah. I don't like what I'm seeing. How are you? How are you? What nice was here? Maraka Kwanza. Your first time here. Kwa makaoni marangu ya Kwanza. Usha kuja miaka ilo pizza? Wakajana. Wakajana wali kuja? Leo. Hii nini inayona mtuto wangu? What is this that I'm seeing? Bona, bona, bona. Where are you? Umenela? Umesha nela? Au nataka niongea sana. Umesha nela au niongea. Mister kuongea kwenye watu watasikia. Afusiko hapa ku kuongelea hivyo vitu. Ila kuna hii roo umeyelewa? Au niongelea? Ndi itapua vizu ni kaibu. Niki ongelea. Ndi ya kustabu na kutasifu hawa. Ok. There is a hii roo ambao wanawake wanakutaka kimapenzi. This spirit where women want you sexually. I see a spirit of a man. Naona roho ya mwanaume. Ndani yako. Inside you. Sawa? Ndio. Alafu naona wasichana wanakuwa attracted na hii roho. And I'm seeing women being attracted by this spirit. A tomboy spirit. Ndio, unakuta wananipata. Unamjua mtu anaitwa tomboy? Ndio. I go deeper our end there. Niende kina onishia. Niende le, niende le kido. Deo. This tomboy spirit. Iroho ya tomboy. Ime kufatilia sana. Alafu, I don't know how, how why. Sijui. Sijui kivibi. Na wewe kia, I don't know how. Sijui kivibi. Ila ni meingia ba. But I went to a ba. Na kukuta wewe uko ba. I'm finding you there. Kwa nini uko ba? Why are you in a ba? Mazingira na ufanya kazi. Wapi? Ba. Ni nani yako? Njo huku mama tuongee kuna kesi huku. Natumia nguvu nyingi kumbe kuna mashuhuda wa Yesu hapa. Jova witness. Eh, hey, I'm seeing her in a bar. Ninamuona kwenye bar. Anafanya kazi huko. Yes. How will I know mtu anafanya kazi ba? I'm mm -hmm. entering a bar. I'm seeing this my she's in church I'm seeing her in a bar. And then I'm seeing, seeing a man spirit. Afu na, naona roho ya mwanaume ndani yake. Inside. And then I'm seeing girls attracted. Afu naona mabinti wanaotoka. Even yale mazingira I'm seeing prostitutes around. Hata kwenye mazingira naona makaba. And not here kwamba ni hivyo ila I'm seeing around that area there are prostitutes and I'm, the Lord is saying you need to set her free unahitaji kumweka huru my daughter yani mimi nikiongea na wewe ujue ndio unavyowekwa huru as i'm speaking to you know that that is how you have been set free because i saw her going to places nimemwona kwa kanisa fulani sitaongea sana i saw her going to places in the city ana kwenye maombi maombi in this prayers. I don't want to talk a lot. Okay? 
Yeah. But I'm seeing her looking for help. Lakini naona akiwa anatafuta msaada. Like anatafuta breakthrough or something like or something yeah. like that. I, but she has been to a place. Lakin and the Lord koma. says it was not possible to be delivered there because naona uh, a priest. Haikuwa rahisi kombolo pale maana ni naona kuhani. And the spirit of the Lord is saying. Na roho Mungu anasema This thing can only be broken by a prophetic mantle. Hii kitu inaweza kuvunjwa tu na nguvu vazi la kidapi. Na ninapoenda kumwombea. And as I will pray for. Things are about to up. Amen. Are you hearing me? Unanisikia? Ndio. But you are not too excited. Kona mimi sitaenda sana. Ndio maana kama niende deep nimekukuta na kuona uko ba. I'm wondering why am I seeing you there? The Lord says. Bwana anasema. I deliver you. Nikukumbuke. I don't know. Si I jui. keep hearing Alois. Alois. Naendelea kusikia Alois. 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 Who is Alois? Rafiki yangu. Eh? Rafiki yangu. Rafiki yako anaitwa Alois. Your friend is called Alois. I know. I know. Because Alois, Kusabu Alois, Zuvela. You know Alois, right? Unamjua Alois hiyo? Ndio. Safi, tuishie hapo. Lift up your hands. You know I'm going to you. You cannot cheat the system of God. Awezi ukaudanganya mfumo. Father, Baba, eh, pray. Omba. Tusiende deep ni maana issues zake ziko very sensitive alafu sitaki I'm not here to embarrass people. Mimi siko hapa kuebisha mtu. But I'm here I can I can I I I am able to know the name of your partner. Lakini naweza nikajua jina la mwenza wako. Father I pray. Baba ninaomba. This demon comes out. Ili pepo. Come out toka toka toka. Mwache umemtesa miaka mingi. You have tormented her for so long. Miaka mingi umemtesa miaka mingi chila nyota yake she will be a great liver star atakuwa mkuu tomboy spirit hii roho ya roho za mizimu na roho ya kiume ndani yake ninakuamuru utoke i command you to come out you are coming out unatoka i'm seeing a masai spirit masai masai roya masai masai masai, masai spirit. spirit it is the spirit of a masai the spirit of anger roya sira But the Lord says Lakini Bwana anasema It is coming out. Nyosha mkono pray give me oil please. Ah. Let's move fast because of time. Let this be the last one. Mwachilie, mwachilie. Toka. Liver, liver. Come out. Na usirudi tena. And never come back. Kariga jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Now. Sasa I want you to give your life to Jesus. Nataka umpe Bwana Yesu maisha. Tena. And okay. I, I need counseling. Judy, can you counsel her please? But uh, tukisema aje hatokuja cancel her tonight after service God bless you The Lord bless you I want us to get our seat Nataka tuchukue mbegu yetu Alois what is this I don't like what I'm seeing I want us to get eh, to that, tonight I want us to do a seed of number 7 I know you still want the prophetic but on Tuesday Yumane. the title of Tuesday service is prophetic ministry huduma ya kinabi so we shall be prophesying a lot on Tuesday kesho kwetu kutoka tunatabiri sana jamani but leo nikiendelea i will not be able to anoint you and the anointing is very important for tonight na anointing ya leo ni muhimu sana ni muhimu sana so very i don't important. want to to waste a lot of time on the prophetic when you can do that ukija jumanne utapata lako when you come on tuesday you shall get yours yes but right now lakini sahi i want us to do tonight a seed of number 7 seven. seven doors are opening nataka tutoe mbegu ya number 7 mlango 7 look at neighbor and say neighbor why are you surprised mwangalie jirani yako mbe jirani kwa nini unashangaa it is a seed of number 7 ni mbegu ya number 7 a prophetic seed of number 7 mbegu ya kinabii ya namba 7 narudia tena tonight we are doing a prophetic seed of number 7 usiku leo tunatoa mbegu ya kinabii ya namba 7 so as you are doing your giving let's do a prophetic seed of number 7 kwa unavyotoa matoleo yako tutoe mbegu ya namba 7 viewers all over the world viewers all over the world and those who are here god bless you for connecting to our service tonight seven doors of blessing and today we are going to give 
our seat our prophetic seat of number seven and this is how you can do your giving for those who are outside the boundaries of tanzania you can use moneygram you can use ria if you have access to world remit and wave you can do a direct transaction to our mpesa wallet the numbers are plus two five five seven five eight zero one two zero six eight and make sure the name reads emmanuel victor msaki for those who want to use bank details the details are right there just make sure that you get every single detail uh, correct for those in the us and canada or any other country if you prefer using western union or paypal please before you do your transactions make sure that you contact the financial department for instructions the numbers are plus two five five seven one three one six zero five one zero remember don't give a call just send a text and the team will get right back to you with the right details that you can use uh, to do your giving for those who are in kenya and uganda i believe you're using safaricom you can do a direct transaction right now to our mpesa number plus two five five seven five eight zero one two zero six eight make sure the name reads emmanuel victor msaki kanisani wakati huu na wale ambao tunajiunga kwa njia youtube ambao tuko ndani ya mipaka Tanzania unaweza kutuma mbegu yako ukatuma fungu la kumi unaweza kutuma malimbuko unaweza kutuma shukrani yako kwa namba ya Vodacom 0758802068 hakikisha jina linasomeka Emmanuel Victor Msaki kumbuka mbegu yetu ya leo ya kinabii ni mbegu ya namba saba hii inaweza ikawa ni elf sabini ikawa laki saba ikawa ni elfu saba bilion saba lakini hakikisha kwamba ni mbegu ya namba saba viewers all over the world tonight a prophetic seed we are going to do a seed of number seven you can do seven thousand a dollars seven dollars seven hundred dollars as long as it is number seven make sure you do and remember do the best that you can do and may the lord bless you as you are doing so i want us wale ambao wana mbegu yao ya uchumi tuanze na wale kwanza uh, minister explain please one minute mbegu ya uchumi please you have your seed of of finances wana ambao wana mbegu kwa ajili ya uchumi and above laki moja na kuendelea specifically for your business for your workplace hii inahusiana na maisha yako ya uchumi you have a seed this has want, to do with the financial life you are trusting god for increase kuna muamini mungu kwa ajili ya ongezeko you remember our category yes yeah yes sir angels of god ministries do you remember our category god bless you so if you're here please come this is your moment kama uko hapa unaweza kaja huu ni wakati wako if you are here kama uko hapa this is your moment i'm seeing my daughter coming if you're here wakati wako there is another one please just join i'm seeing another one coming these are people that are saying god i don't want to be the same I don't want to be ordinary. Laki moja kwenda juu kwa ajili ya kipato chako. Sijui wewe unafanya biashara. I don't know if you do business. Unafanya kazi, haufanyi biashara, unamwamini Mungu atafungua mlango whatever it is. Chochote kile. But God can do something amazing. Lakini Mungu anaweza kufanya kitu cha kipekee. Viewers all over the world. Watazamaji ulimwenguni kote. You can do the same. Unaweza kufanya hivyo hivyo. Spirit of God I pray in the name of Jesus. Roho Mungu ninaomba katika jina la Yesu. They are trusting you with their finances. Wana kuamini wewe kwa kwa ajili ya uchumi wao. Lord I pray. Baba ninaomba that you may bless them. Ukawabariki. The anointing on this altar at this place let it be upon them. Upako wa mahali hapa madhabahu hii ukawe juu yao. Let it cover them like a mantle. Ukawafunike kama vazi. Receive it in the name of the Lord. Pokea katika jina la Bwana. Showers of blessings. Vua ya baraka. This year will not end without a great testimony. Mwaka huu hautokwisha bila ushuhuda mkubwa. It is not emotional words, it is words of life. Sio maneno ya hisia, ni maneno ya uzima. May the Lord bless you. Bwana awabariki. Even those that are joining us online, God Ata bless you. Ata wale unga kwa njia mtandao Mungu awabariki. Please let's begin. Wanawake you have prepared your seed do the best you can do. Fanya kilicho bora. One minute dakika moja. You see God unaona Mungu knows the heart of people. Anajua mioyo ya watu. Hello. Hello. God knows your heart. Mungu anajua moyo wako. Child of God if there is somebody that understands you from A to Z his name is GOD kama kuna mtu anayekuelewa kutokea mwanzo hadi mwisho jina lake ni God knows Mungu anajua kabisa kabisa right now unaweza kufanya 
if Sabini for example sahi you can do 70000 maybe alafu una, una take advantage na neno saba ukasema nafanya 7000 yeah. you are cheating yourself not god unakuona jidanganya mwenyewe sio mungu you see giving unaona kutoa it's a measurement of your heart ni kipimo cha moyo wako naomba ni kuelekeza kwa sababu kuna mtu haelewi what giving is you will be surprised utashangaa Biblia the Bible inaonyesha mwanamke ambaye aliweka shilingi mbili shows a woman that place only two kulikuwa coins. kuna matajiri ambao wanatoa laki moja lakini ana uwezo wa kutoa milioni sabini, milioni sitini. alafu kulikuwa kuna mwanamke ana shilingi mbili tu akatoa meaning if you have the ability ya kutoa zaidi ya hivyo and you are just doing it kwa sababu ni mbegu ya namba saba you are not getting anything au pati chochote there is no reward mtu ambaye amepoteza muda na fedha yake mbele za bwana is a person who has wasted their counted. time for the lord ayesabiu kwa sababu for example mimi kwa mfano ai naweza nikatoa for example naweza nikatoa milioni mbili mimi can give two then niende million. to same ni same ah, kwa sababu amesema ni mbegu ya namba mbili ni 12000 God knows David Richard Mungu anamjua David and his capability na uwezo wake Siyo naeleweka ninachoongea God you Mungu. don't cheat God Haumdanganya Yaani anaitwa 2000 yake ile ile ya mwisho na wewe David ambao unaweza kutoa milioni mbili you are not getting the same Understand what we are doing it's a prophetic ministry Elewa tunachofanya ni kuuma kina spirit Vitu vinasonga So as you are about to do your giving naona tu haraka haraka but understand angalia viwango vya right now kuna mtu anaweza katoa laki saba atatoa f7 you're joking you're playing a dangerous game unacheza mchezo hatari you are you are actually lying to yourself unajidanganya mwenyewe because you cannot cheat god there's the system of the spirit wala mfumo wa roho so if you can do f7 do f7 if you can do laki saba do laki saba if you can do f7 do f7 if you can do mia saba do f mia saba but god remember you are uwezo wako anaujua God knows your capability. Let's give. Tutai. Wanawake tunaweza kuanza. Let your kingdom come and I don't know from the walk of the day I don't know from the walk of the Before we do before we do before we do the kama hoja kabla jifanye kuna mtu anasema Mungu I am trusting God for something quickly Kuna mtu anamwambia Mungu kuna kitu ninakuamini kwa haraka Una mbegu special seed for a specific thing run Before we do tithe kabla tithe kabla there is something you are waiting for a document to be released you are waiting for a contract to be released you are waiting for an approval of something you are you want to start something immediately kuna kitu you are trusting kuna kitu unataka kukifanya unakingojea una umemlilia mungu this is such environments is when we take advantage mazingira aina hii you are trusting god kufufua biashara yako you are trusting god for a, something Unamwamini Mungu kwa ajili ya kitu. Get a seed and come to the altar. Kwa mbegu na usoge madhabahu. As you are here please pray one minute. Viewers all over the world we are opening the platform as an opportunity for those people that are the, their case is urgent. 
tunafungua jukwaa kwa ajili ya wale watu ambao kesi zao ni za dharura. Yes Lord I am trusting you for increase. Bwana ninakuamini kwa ajili ya ongezeko. In this month. Mwezi huu. Unamwamini una Mungu kwa kitu ndani ya mwezi huu. You, you trust God for something in this month. The month of victory. Mwezi wa ushindi. Lord give me victory in this area. Bwana nipe ushindi katika ile eneo. It is for you. Ni kwa ajili yako. Remember it is for you. Kumbuka ni kwa ajili yako. Holy Spirit, Roho Mtakatifu. We are waiting for those ambao mnakuja kama unakuja please just be quick so that when I pray naombea kila mtu. You are trusting God. You are trusting God. Unamwamini Mungu. It is good to trust upon the Lord. Ni vizuri kumtumainia Bwana. But you are saying Lord I did not come empty handed. Lakini unasema Bwana sikuja mikono mitupu. I know what is slowing this. It is a spiritual issue. Ninajua kinachofanya iki kitu kiende taratibu ni kitu cha kiroho. So I bring my seed to the altar. Kwa ninaleta mbegu yangu madhabahu. May the altar fight the altar. Madhabahu ipambane na madhabahu. That is what you are doing. Iko ndicho unachokifanya. Holy Spirit I pray. Roho Mtakatifu ninaomba. Whatsoever your children are trusting you for. Kwa chochote kile watoto wako wanachokuamini. Promotion at work. Kupanda cheo kazini. A court case. Kesi ya mahakamani. Whatever it is. Chochote kile. I declare. Ninatamka. May the wind of his glory blow onto your lives. Upepo wa utukufu wake ukavume maisha ya mwenye the wind of his glory the people what go for the lord towards you now ukavume kuelekea kwako sasa let it push away every demonic agendas ikaskume kuondoa kila agenda za kipepo and may the oil of god na mafuta ya mungu of prosperity of increase and victory ya mafanikio ongezeko na ushindi be upon you ikawe juu yako the enemy will not steal from you anymore adui hatoiba kutoka kwako tena he will not take your blessing anymore hatochukua baraka yako tena every addiction kila tabia usiweza kuiacha every bad character and kila tabia mbaya It is walking out in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Run to the altar and give your Drop it on the altar. Please. Just put it on the altar. Altar versus altar. Tithers. Come. Tithers wanatoa mafungu ya kumi come unaweza kaje partners wale ambao ni partners come unaweza kaje viewers all over the world watazamaji ulimwenguni kote wakati wa fungu la kumi it is time for the for tithing a 10% will come back in the house of the lord asilimia kumi itakuja katika nyumba ya bwana a 10% of your earnings shall come back to the altar of jesus asilimia kumi ya mapato yako yatakuja katika madhabahu ya don't eat all your seeds usile mbegu zako zote usile mbegu zako zote don't eat all your seeds for there to be a harvest there must be a seed on the ground ili kuwe na mavuno lazima kuwe na mbegu ardhini Tithers, run to the altar and the Lord bless you. Kimbia madabauni na Bwana akubariki. Tithers, wanatoa mafungu ya 10. Is for tithing is for everyone. Fungu la 10 ni kwa ajili ya kila mtu. Anointed or not anointed. Either umepakwa mafuta au hujapakwa mafuta. Media praise team members, sons and daughters, everybody in the house of the Lord is obligated to tithe katika nyumba ya Mungu inampasa kutoa fungu la Father even those that are connecting and tithing and partnering all over the world hata wale ambao wanajiungamanisha kwa partnership na kutoa mafungu ya 10 ulimwenguni kote nakumbuka partners leo ni deadline yetu partners do we have partners kwenye umstar that brought their partnership partners do we have a partner with their partnership please you are there partners Partners. I don't know how many organize but let's do what we have to do. Father, I pray. Baba, the blessings know. of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Baraka ya Abraham, Isaac na Jacob. Let it be upon you. Ikawe juu yako. Walk in victory. Ukatembee katika ushindi. May you go and harvest. Nenda ukavuni. What you are sowing tonight. Unachopanda usiku leo. According to Malachi 3. Sawa sawa na Malaki sura 3. That devourer is taken away. Alaye anaondolewa mbali. In the name of the Lord. Katika jina la Bwana. Please come and give on the altar. Just run to the altar. Let's do our offering. And let's and let's do our offering. Unaweza kuchukua sadaka yako kwa ajili ya neno la Mungu pale ulipo. You can get your offering for the word of God whatever you are. sadaka kwa ajili ya neno please. And get your offering for the word of God. 
This word was for who? Ili neno liko na mtu gani? Itaidi basi kumtolea Mungu sadaka. Now give unto the Lord. For that for that word. You are capturing the word, you are making it yours. Unalikamata neno unalifanya kuwa yako. You are honoring the word. Unaheshimu hilo neno. That is what we mean. Una una unajambatanisha na neno kwamba what what the man of God said, what God spoke. Alichokisema mtu wa Mungu alichozungumza Mungu. Inakuwa ya kwangu. It is part of my life. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, I have an announcement. Ninalo tangazo. To make a zile basha ziko wapi? Kuna basha hapa tarehe 26 tunamkesha. On 26 this month we have an overnight. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's set off for one minute please. Kwa dakika moja tutukae. Tarehe 26 tunamkesha unaitwa Victory Night. Usiku on wa ushindi. Night of Victory. Hallelujah. So on that Victory Night tutakuwa tuna mtolea Bwana Uh, we don't want it to be a surprise. Hatutaki iwe kitu cha kushtukiza. Tumeanza kugawa baasha tangia Ijumaa. We started uh, distributing envelopes uh, from Friday. Can I see the envelopes please? Zipo za Can can somebody help me please? Minister you can do this. I don't need to do everything. Just kuna baasha za namna gani na watu ambao watakuwa wanakuja. Wangapi wamepokea baasha? Inua mkono wako juu una baasha yako tangia jana juzi unaona mikono ilivyokuwa mingi na don't be surprised ukashangaa siku hiyo watu wanatoa and then you, you are wondering kwa hiyo ni hii tunachofanya so you can have your envelopes sasa hivi according to your dimensions haleluya haleluya nasikia tukisikia baasha tunakoa pole sana Haleluya. So kuna baasha hapa ya 150, laki moja, laki mbili, laki tatu, laki nne. Kwa kama Yes, let's do kama, it. Kama uh, unachukua baasha, nyosha mkono wako, utaletea. Naomba unavochukua baasha mwana Mungu, naomba uchukue baasha kwa nia ya kurudisha baasha. Usichukue baasha kwa sababu unajisikia kama ni unyamwezi. The devil is a liar. Amen. As you are taking that envelope, you are bringing back that envelope Tarishna Sita. So around that time I'll come out at Tumambeg whatever but as we are doing that let's do that kwa nia hiyo. Inua mkono wako juu please you need an envelope. Watu ni wengi huko atwezi tukapata basha zingine. Daudi. Naona mikono mingi inua juu inua juu ili watu wapite yes. Kuna hadi milioni minister kwani umefanya hivyo Oza Kuna watu walikasirika jana walipewa basha laki tano akisema no 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 Kuna basha ya 1500 laki moja, laki mbili, laki tatu, laki nne, laki tano na milioni Eh hey. That's guy Eh hey, get, get an envelope please viewers all over the how does a viewer do it Mtazamaji Uh, viewers on the 2020 ngapi 26 tarehe na sita we shall be in the house of the lord overnight ni mkesha wa moto sana kwa hiyo usikuo tunaandaa matoleo yetu special just for that night victory night we want to win tunataka kushinda i want to win mimi nataka kushinda i have been waiting to see my sons and daughters winning nimekuwa nikisubiri kuona watoto wangu wakiume na wakike wakishinda and if there is a time i feel it in my bones it is now na kama kuna wakati naisikia sana mifupani mwangu ni sasa ifanye kama mtoto biblia inasema wale ambao kama watoto ndo watamuona bwana jifanye kama mtoto hivi kama uelewi kama unafatafata tu just for the few next few weeks coming kwa wiki chache tu zinazokuja then utaibuka kuwa mtu mzima baada ya tarehe 26 just jifanye kama mtoto tu hapa katikati and see what the lord is about to do na uone kila bwana ambacho anakwenda kufanya the foolishness of the lord ujinga wa bwana it is greater than the wisdom of men ni mkubwa kuliko hekima ya wanadamu 
Yaani hata pale Mungu ambapo ana, anafanya vitu vya ajabu kwetu sisi bado uwepo. Yaani ajabu yake ni iko mbali na akili zetu na fahamu zetu na maarifa yetu. So in other words you can never be smarter than God. Koko maneno mengine uwezo ukawa mwelevu kuliko Mungu. Those that are a meek in the heart they will see the Lord. Na wale ambao ni wapole moyoni mwao watamwona Bwana. So get your envelope inua mkono wako juu. Let's make it quick please. Chukua bahasha kuna mikono kule. I'm not seeing people that side. Milioni mbili kule. Mentors. Christians will say everything I receive but not that. Wa Kristo atasema kila kitu anapokea lakini sio hiyo ngoja ya mafuta anza kutembea hapo utaona watu the anointing is moving mafuta yanatembea something's moving something's changing see his glory feels like heaven on a something's moving something's changing see his glory feels like heaven on a something's moving something's changing is moving feels like I'm an honest something's moving something's changing she's moving feels like I'm an honest something's moving something's changing she's moving feels like I'm an honest moving an international church. <laughs> Okoro in an international church. You will know them. <laughs> oh, you do you think oh even the devil can say oh. <laughs> There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, signs of many waters, heaven on earth. There is lightning and thunder. Miracles and wonders signs of many waters Let's go Miracles and wonders lightning and thunder signs of many waters heaven on earth tunasema atwest kukaa na milioni moja mpaka tarehe sita unaweza ukatoa sasa hivi haleluya kuna yule mtu anasema mimi siwezi nikakaa nayo mpaka tarehe ngapi eh 26 unaweza ukatoa sasa hivi kwa wale ambao wanataka kutuma hii ndio namna ya kutuma naomba uchukue peni ama simu yako uandike hii namba nikupe maelekezo haleluya kwa wale ambao mnataka kutuma utatuma kwa namba hii ya Vodacom 0758 
sifuri moja mbili sifuri sita nane jina linasomeka Emmanuel Vita Msaki kumbuka utakacho kifanya utatuma jina lako na utaspecify kwamba hii ni sadaka kwa ajili ya the night of victory narudia tena utatuma kwa namba ya Vodacom 0758012068 utatuma na jina lako alafu utaspecify kwamba hii ni sadaka kwa ajili ya the night of victory tumeelewana sijui tumeelewana so viewers all over the world you can also do your seat your giving that whenever you are ready uh, for the night of victory on 26 use the means that you normally use to do your giving and the lord bless you mamangu yupo please mama please carry get, get a mic you can clap your hand your hands for her When I anoint you, you can go home, okay? Yes. Kwa hiyo tunamalizia, please mama karibu. Shalom kanisa. Shalom wana wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Ha, namshangaa Mungu. Hallelujah. Angels zilikotoka Iliko toka Hallelujah Iliko toka Hata hapa mlipo fika Mshangilie mungu kwa jila we mawake Higia bwana makofi kwa jila angel of God Higia bwana kwa jila we mawake Sota ni fadhili zake Hakika fadhili za bwana ni za milele Haleluya Haleluya Amesema nitakufadhili kwa fadhili za milele Nataka nikutangazie na kukuombea bwana akufadhili kwa fadhili za milele I receive it Bwana akufadhili kwa fadhili zake za milele na milele na milele katika jina la Yesu. Hujanielewa. Mungu akichilea fadhili zake za milele, huwezi kukwama popote. Amen. Mungu akiachilea fadhili zake kwa milele, kwa njia moja hutokwata kutokea, kwa njia saba watasambaratika. Oh yes. Ah. Nimeziona fadhili za milele kwenye maisha yangu na iwe kwako katika jina wa Yesu. Amen. Uchanifahamu wewe. <laughs> Mimi siwezi kukwama wala uzao wangu uwezi kukwama kwa sababu fadhili za Bwana ni za milele. Maombi yangu sina maombi mengi. Namwambia Bwana usiku na mchana, unifadhili mimi na uzao wangu kwa fadhili zako za milele fadhili za bwana na ziwa juu yako i receive nikisanga nikiongea fadhili ni kitu ambacho hakiwezi kukuacha chini mahali ambapo uwezi kufika akasema farasi na mpanda farasi wametumbukia kwenye maji kwa kuwa fadhili za bwana ni za milele farasi na farasi farasi na mpanda farasi Hawa kutumbukia kwenye maji kwa nguvu za kibinadamu wala si kwamba Israeli walikuwa wema sana bali kwa fadhili za Bwana kwa jina la Yesu zikupe mpenyo fadhili za Bwana zikupe mpenyo fadhili za Bwana zikufikisha mahali ambapo hawezi kufika fadhili za Bwana zikuingiza mahali ambapo hawezi kuingia fadhili za Bwana zikuinua toka mavumbini zikuweke pa juu fadhili za Bwana zikufungua kule ulikofichwa nema mpya na iwe juu yako Tukufu wa Mungu kutangulie kidali cha Mungu na kiwe juu yako. Shalom.
somebody celebrate Jesus for mama? You can do better. Can you celebrate Jesus? Can you celebrate Jesus, somebody? Hallelujah. Are you ready for the anointing of God? Are you or not? Are you ready? Are you sure? All right. Kama ni mgeni kwa mara kwanza tafadhali unaweza kunyosha mkono wako kama ni mgeni kwa mara kwanza. Hivi sio first time kuabudu na sisi unaweza kunyosha mkono wako. Inua tu mkono wako vizuri. Tumpigie bwana Yesu makofi kwa ajili ya wageni hao. Mali hapa tunapenda wageni na neema hii ni kwa ajili ya watu wote ambao wanaheshimu na kufika mali hapa. Amen. So wageni baada ya ibada tafadhali uh, wakati watu wanatoka nje mtasogea mtaka upande huu viti vya mbele alafu kuna ujumbe kutoka kwa prophet amen amen kama wewe uko ume, ni mtoto wa mali hapa au ni mgeni pia lakini unasema mimi nataka ni ungane pamoja na prophet kubeba maono haya na kuyafikisha ulimwenguni unataka kuwa partner tafadhali unaweza Eliza unaweza kusimama Eliza kiongozi wetu partner yule pale nyuma njoo huku mbele Amen. Na wewe kama unataka kuwa uh, partner, unasema nimekaa kwa muda uh, nikiwa chini ya prophet lakini sijawahi kuwa partner lakini nataka kuwa partner. Tafadhali sana. Wakati watu wanatoka nje, tafadhali ninaomba utamuona dada Eliza hapa. Wote tumemuona vizuri eh? Tumemuona eh? Kwa kama unataka kuwa partner, uh, ushiriki katika kubeba uh, kusukuma maono haya ya Mungu na kuifikisha injili kwa watu wengi sisi wote ni mashuhuda watu wanapokombolewa lakini tunahitaji tuwafikie watu wengi sana haleluya amen kwa hiyo wewe ambaye unataka kuwa partner tafadhali wakati watu wanatoka nje naomba utamuona dada Eliza atakupa details jinsi gani unaweza ukawa mmoja wa partners wa Angels of God Ministries haleluya haleluya Amen. Pia naomba nikutangazie uh, ibada zetu zinakuwa kila wiki mali hapa Jumanne saa kumi jioni, Ijumaa saa kumi jioni na kila Jumapili ibada yetu ni saa tisa alasiri. Haleluya. Haleluya. Saa kumi jioni Jumanne, saa kumi jioni Ijumaa na Jumapili ibada yetu inaanza saa tisa mchana. Kitu kimoja kuhusu Angels of God hakuna ibada ndogo. Ibada zote ni kubwa na Mungu anatembea kwa ukubwa ule ule. Haleluya. Amen. Lakini pia uh, mwezi wa tano tutakuwa uh, baba anakwenda ku atakuwa Dodoma kwa ajili ya watoto wake kule ambao wapo pale Prophet Isaiah Nazi ambaye ni kiongozi wa huduma ya Heaven Poto lakini pia na ndugu yetu Apostle Emmanuel Pilaft ambaye ndio anasimamia Angels of God Dodoma. Kwa hiyo baba atakuwa kule mwezi wa tano tarehe tatu kwa hiyo wewe kama una ndugu Dodoma na uzuri ni kwamba posta zimeshatoka ukiingia kwenye account ya Prophet Isaiah Nazi ukiingia kwenye account ya Angels of God Ministries International Angels of God Ministries uh, Dodoma utakuta posta iko pale chukua ile posta tumia watu kwenye ma group kama una ndugu ambaye uko Dodoma na mikoa ya karibu na Dodoma unaweza ukamtumia na ukamkaribisha pia naye ashiriki neema hii haleluya haleluya amen Mungu abariki Viewers, do not go anywhere. I want to pray with you. Viewers all over the world, don't go anywhere. Make sure after I'm done with these people, we pray together. Watazamaji, msiondoke baada kumaliza na hawa watu hapo pamoja. Uh, stand up everyone. Kila mtu anaweza kusimama. I anoint you, you go home. Nikikupaka mafuta unaenda nyumbani. Yes. Tafadhali, so don't be too loud just they have been in the mood of prayer everybody. Kwa dakika moja mwambie Bwana anoint me tonight. For one minute would you tell the Lord to anoint him? Yes, it is the anointing of greatness. Ni mafuta ya ukuu. Seven angels will be under your church. Malaika saba watakuwa chini ya amri yako. Seven doors will open for you. Milango saba itafunguka kwa ajili yako. Ni wewe tu yani. Yaani at this point prophet ni kuweka tu mafuta kichwani mwako. Ni wewe tu. Wakati huu is the prophet wa. I can't be doing everything. Siwezi kufanya kila kitu. So now my daughter my son it is your time. Kwa binti yangu kijana wangu ni muda wako. To shine. Wako ngapi? Father. 
akikisha unaomba na tafadhali naomba tusisogee simama hapo hapo ulipo don't make any move just stand where you are and make sure you are in the mood of prayer kisha kuwa anointed unaweza kaamua kuendelea kuomba lakini vile vile unaweza kwenda nyumbani Mungu na kubariki shate pala da basoto unaweza kaamua kubaki unaweza kaamua kwenda nyumbani ukibaki omba somebody just pray where you are standing up holy boss mama homa hatambi ku ise
If Pastor Chris can pray If Baba Lola can pray Who is I not to pray If my sister can pray If my brother can pray If my father can pray Who is I not to pray So I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, oh, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make me some me. In my hobby, in my hobby, in my hobby, in my hobby. It's a whole man, I can be good, he said. In a battlefield, waiting to hear the voice of my commander. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer and be your God. So I am a soldier in the battlefield, waiting to hear the voice of my commander. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer the Lord. I am a soldier in your part of me, waiting to hear the voice of my commander. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer the Lord. Who is calling my Jesus is calling my name. Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer with you. But Jesus, if you call my name, I will answer and be your God. I know I've wasted so much time. I know I've wasted so much season. But Jesus, if you call my name, me will answer and be your God.
Get your oil now. Chukua mafuta yako sahihi. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Whatsoever the enemy has been doing in your life for a long time. Chochote ambacho adui amekuwa kifanya maishani mwako kwa muda mrefu. Ndivyo anavyosema roho wa Mungu. Majira mapya. Seven mighty doors. Milango mikubwa sana. Shall anoint yourself right now wherever you are. Anoint yourself right now. Mjipake mafuta popote pale hapo. Angels of blessings and mercy are locating you. Malaika wa baraka rehema na neema wanakuja kwako. I declare and I decree. Ninatamka na kutabiri. The season of pain, the season of sickness, the season of stagnation, the season of delay, every season kila majira ya maumivu ya magonjwa ambayo yamekuwa kisumbua maisha yako you are coming out victorious unatoka kwa ushindi viewers all over the world watazamaji ulimwenguni kote i don't need to shout for you to receive ili uopokee all you need is faith unachohitaji ni imani as i touch you right now ninavyokugusa sasa hivi in the realms of the spirit katika ulimwengu wa roho from tonight kutokea usiku leo you will start everybody in this place kila mtu mali hapa from tonight kutoka usiku leo you will start to experience utaanza ku experience testimonies Ushuhuda. in the name of Jesus you are blessed and shalom na shalom <laughs>